check YouTube though because I might not have it on the right <laughs> might not have it on the right server. Hey, back cities, we, we might have to restart. We may not have a stream on uh, YouTube. So I think we gotta get the stream on YouTube. Oh, I'm not finding it myself. Well, it's just to call the smartest man. Oh, I check that. Yes. Hello. It, is YouTube up to there, Kyle? Uh. I wasn't sure if I logged into the LOP or the restream. It is. And the chat is on. Alright. Chat's on if you want to shut that down. And by the way, Backseaters, Backseaters, thank Kyle Meestead, the smartest man we got, for all of his technological assistance. And uh, we got a great crew. Ranging from Mighty Mike to the Young and the Selfless. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow, Kyle, thanks so much. Can you hear me still? Yep, yep, you are welcome. Yeah, you do, you do an amazing job. Thanks so much. You can feel free to doze off and go to sleep. We'll try to handle. We'll try to handle it. Yeah, finally. <laughs> We're trying to handle it from here. Sounds good. I'll see you later. All right, thanks. See you, thanks. Kyle. Bye. 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 So I'm sure you were all with us here. We're going to continue the 12-hour uh, marathon. We had a little. We had to take a little break because Facebook only allows eight hours, and we would have got stopped at some point. So we thought we'd split it as equally as possible. Of course, equal would have been at nine o'clock, not. 10:30, but thanks for joining us in that locate and arrest. We won't even call it a pursuit. It was a locate and arrest. Yeah. Pat's, Pat's going to tell you about his stop, stop sticks. He was able to stick the rear tire, and you saw in the picture there. Maybe not, but the the tire was completely. Gone. By the way, you left that rubber tire at Dowling in '94. I saw it. You know, I I almost drove over it. His tire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for for all you know, I almost stopped. You know, when he got on the freeway there, I was almost gonna pick the tire up and throw it in the back just for a memory. <laughs> a memory. Get it framed and put on your office wall. Well, we got we got you know we got Alex's uh, hubcap that we put on the wall. You know, but the tire I think would have been a good. You stop, you know, because you stop sticked it. I didn't know that was you where I for sure would have grabbed the tire. <laughs> sure. Well, it took me three tries well, to finally get it. Well, tell them the story what happened there. We're going to, by the way, we're headed over, and I probably shouldn't even tell the viewers this, but we're headed over to the Doubletree Hotel at McKnight in 94. There's a call there that came out while we were off there of a bunch of kids spraying mace in the halls and vandalizing by pouring milk in the hall. They've been told to leave. They're intoxicated, but they have not left. So... They might have cleared it. They probably did, but uh, trust me, that's probably the same, some of the same kids that we've dealt with at other hotel parties. Mm hmm So... Pretty much count on that, I think. In my one thing, like, I've entered the animal complaint 899 clue that was south from a 805 for a doctor. So, park. yeah, I first caught up with that, uh, uh, with the helicopter, was it the helicopter already? Yeah, with the helicopter following that truck, I first caught up with it at uh, when it was coming south on Asbury from Charles, and I was just in a perfect position. Jumped out of my car, grabbed the stop sticks, threw them, and they're the ones that pop open when they hit the ground. <laughs> my stocking hat had stuck to the part that opens up, and uh, so they didn't pop open. It held them shut. And he drove around them and missed. And I tried a second time, 
Oh, I can't even remember what intersection I was at. Minneapolis. In Minneapolis. And uh, he saw me waiting and turned before uh, he got to him. And I could yeah. not throw him far enough. I tried, but I couldn't throw him far enough. Every time I saw him, if, if I was pulled over and he was coming toward me, he'd see the... I had my lights off half the time, but he would see another car up ahead and he would turn. Oh, yeah. He would turn. And the Durango's are obviously a little more obvious, but turn. And it was like three times. I had the sticks right here, <laughs> ready to throw them out, and turn. So. And then finally, at 18th and Emerson, I was stopped uh, alongside some other cars, so he didn't realize that I was a squad car, and I kind of hid behind a telephone pole <laughs> and saw him coming and threw him out and nailed his one tire really good. Yeah. It worked out well. That was the difference. Otherwise, this thing might have never came to a conclusion. So I now I need to get our own Sheriff's Office MacGyver, Jim Moody, <laughs> to put another one of those bad boys together. Well, he for will. Them. They can reuse them, you know. But, uh, oh, yeah. I, it, only, it only tore up one of the sticks, so I just need to put one more on you there. You can use the ones that are actually the four, you know, the experimental prototype of the four? That are in the garage, you can take them and have them and turn those four into twos. Because okay. I don't think we're really going to use the fours. Yeah. So we might use the threes. So you got channel three on, I'm assuming, and RS10? Oh, I don't, but I will. Right. But those, uh, y those young guys, Chad and Tom, they're fun to listen to. They really are. They do. Even, even really my wife job. called me and said, hey, these guys are fun to listen to. <laughs> you know, I don't know what she meant by that. Now that I think about it, was she trying to tell us something? Hmm. hmm. Interesting. 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 Going up to the to speak with the parties involved in this. Well, actually, I'm hoping it's the double tree over here. Now that I think about it, maybe there's another double tree. Maybe it's the. I bet it's the one. Maybe it's the one downtown. Can you check the yeah, board? Yeah. One, one sec here. I want to get this. Now that I think about it, because the kids, I, I, oh, I didn't hear the exact address. I just heard it was the double tree. Yeah, what street is the one downtown on? Do you know? Tenth. It's our old. It's our old. Uh, Hang out? Yeah, we told you for For the police station? I heard it one two squad going up to talk to somebody in a in a room. Six two two will be in number three zero three. Yeah. Code four. Have a code four. Uh, oh, here we go. It's still active. Here? Yep, this is the one. Oh, good. So, I guess, right? Thankfully. They cleared the room. They cleared the floor. Maybe some groups still wandering the halls. Three one nine. There we copy. We're in 23. Copy, 2224. Okay. Service squad. Last one, better be. Service squad is able to start towards 724 East 6th Street. Reference to a physical domestic that occurred at 342 Bates Avenue. Medics are going to be announced at the street address. There's another consistent. Well, obviously, you can't have young people drinking in the hotels. What generally happens is an adult will rent the room for the kids and then split and leave the kids to do as they will. When you see the fire department, you come out here to this hotel with some oh. big fans. So they sprayed mace. The bear mace has infected several. 
Is there a, can I go this way? Yep. Where was uh, the last call at? Two, two, uh, I believe. Five is on. So a lot of people are apparently affected by the mace, which isn't good. Oh, there's uh, our buddy, our stalkers. Our stalkers are here. We're going to roll our window up so we're not annoyed by the stalkers. I heard east. We'll see. I don't know if you have any call. What do you say? First call uh, I have is a 1640 Gulf Street Street. You can disregard. What you got, East? I thought I heard uh, them calling off something. Copy, 1640. So you can see a lot of people are outside. 212. Because of the. Uh, 212. Because of the mace. Even the people that weren't affected by it are bothered by it. <laughs> oh, oh boy, there's a special place in heaven for some people, isn't there? Special place in heaven. I don't, I don't, I don't really know who even listens to him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's gonna walk into our car, come into our. <laughs> Hold sweet. Hold sweet. You can't sell a car and go for it. Hey, everyone, you're back with your shirt. You were right. 125, 123. Two, three. Those of you guys in the area, Dale in 94. Caller's reporting there's a male was laying on the ground that got up and was yelling to the cops to call the police. It would be a black male in his 50s, 5'10", thin build, wearing a blue so, or blue rain jacket with a hood up. It's hard for us to tell if those are the kids that were in the problem or not. Really hard. So Sergeant Sean Campbell has requested the uh, fire department come out here to help ventilate the hotel. You can imagine how disturbing it is to uh, have a hotel have a bunch of mace in it. Let me know if I'm going to if I'm going to back over anybody. I don't think so. Oh, you know, again, the medics are there to my location. I don't know. I'm trying to get more. Okay. I, I don't know what you're saying. I don't have a clue. And open line with people just yelling at each other. You don't have much of a case. We should probably get some opinions from experts in the field. There's got to be some doctors, some psychologists somewhere on our backseater page. That could yeah, diagnose what type of yeah, mental health issues you can say clear. people that are screaming in our window have. You want to say clear. Actually, somebody you did one one night. Yeah. Some, some oppositional something. Oh something yeah, oppositional disorder. defiance disorder. I don't know, but you know, we could probably get enough professional opinions to uh, make a layman's judgment. But I don't know, that's just some really weird behavior. Yeah. One, two, three, one, four. four. Now we go four. So the, what the fire, the, they're calling the fire department out there to ventilate the place. The, you know, the fans that they use after to clear smoke out of a place that it has smoke damage or has had a fire, they they want to set some fans up in the hallway there to blow the yeah the, the bear bear mace out. And the fire department's coming. To be honest with you, though, it's not going to help that much. It's not because those little crystals now are hanging all over the walls and the floor. 
So it's kind of sad that you have to have a fire compartment. We'll let, they're going to come right by us here before we, I think it's station, is that station 22 out here? I don't know, whatever that one is. And, uh, yeah. But air will eventually help neutralize those crystals. But it's going to take a little bit. going to take a little bit before they do. That sure ruins life for everybody else. Yeah, it does. Here comes the fire truck and route there. We're at right Burns and McKnight. I'm guessing they'll always send probably two rigs. That's a ladder truck. And now they've just, the people that sprayed the mace just took a piece of equipment out of service that responds to fires of buildings over three feet, three stories tall, which there are a lot of them. So, not a, not a good thing. It's good that Sean Campbell was out there. Yep, he's a great sergeant with the gang and gun unit. I don't, I don't know if we're, because we're late, I don't know if we're going to get to all those shout outs that were sent in this week. Um, so we may have to, we may have to do a short, short live on Sunday. That's what I'm thinking to get to some of those shout outs. I'll try to, I'll try to get to a few of them tonight. Yeah, if you can, there was just a ton of them that came in. Well, in fact, while we've got this little lull, Seven. yeah, I will. Okay, thank you. You got three on, right? I do. Sandy Malloy wants to give a shout out to her nephew Jr. His birthday was February 27th. Nephew Calvin who was February 21st. Peyton had her 13th birthday on February 25th. You got a lot of family with birthdays in February. So uh, happy birthday to JR, Calvin, and Peyton. Side note, for those of you that are wondering, Hill Murray did defeat Gentry three to nothing to advance to the state tournament. For those of you that might have been paying attention earlier, although probably Chad and Thomas told you that already. Mm -hmm. taped that mount. I don't know if you noticed that. I did. Uh, Rather impressively I might. Well, have. actually what happened was I can't even remember now. But oh, there's another fire ring behind us. So Red Phoenix is a regular backseater, and her daughter Vicky in South Glen Falls, New York, does a uh, a dance marathon for ninth through twelfth grade kids, raising money to help out people with medical bills and help organizations out. They raise hundreds of thousands of dollars. For that is very, very cool. Vicki, thank you for doing that. And uh, keep up the good work. Speaking of raising money, we got to give a shout out to the 
one general Girl for, Scout for troop that's there. donating some of their profits to the homeless and uh, cookie to sale tomorrow for somewhere. For the oh, um, at, at the A. Someone's stealing a catalytic converter. A, huh, what's it called? Oh, A Public House. Four, a Public House, yeah. Down on Randolph. A Public House. Is so the A Public House on Randolph tomorrow, you can get girls donating to a really good cause. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to stop down there tomorrow and thank them sometime. Yeah, I think it's four o'clock or something. Paul Patterson, happy birthday from us and your sister Rose. Speaking of Paul Patterson, that reminds me of uh, Paul Johnson. I ran into I ran into Fred Kappings last night. You did at uh, Perkins. Went to Perkins. And Fred was there. And you know they've been him and Ed and Paul have been doing that museum, right? The museum for the St. Paul Police Department. Mm -hmm. We have to go over there and do a live presentation to show all the people the history of the police department because Ed and Fred would be great tour guides. You know the white Toyota Highlander is going to be the test hike vehicle? What do we got going there? Darren. He's east now, right? No, he's west. Vehicle is a gray or green Toyota Prius. Mike Zulu Hotel 212. Copy that, thanks. Anyway, I think that would be cool because Fred, we were talking about all the old radio systems, and, and when he came on, the little Tiger radios that you tried to oh, take. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When you went to lunch, you, you had a little transistor radio that you could tune into the... You could adapt. You could put a little adapter on there. Yeah. Yeah. So you could spend a few extra minutes at lunch. I think the technology history is pretty amazing. That would be... Uh, because they used to not have pack sets, so you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to get the radio. The, the squad car had a link system. It was called where the light would come on. By the way, by the way, Pat. By the way, by the way, get your flashlight handy. I do. Check out this sign on this wall here. Okay. All right. I think you should even pull the camera off for this. Oh, we're gonna have to. I got it. So, one of our favorite back seaters here over at uh, the BP. What's that say? Live on patrol on his garage. He's got live on patrol Bob and Pat. Sticks, the Rev, the Cat Team, Jelly Joe, Mountain Man Mike. Well, you got a new nickname now, Mike. Joe Kill, <laughs> Nicole. T-Man Siegelstrom, Deputy Bodie, Action Alex. Alex and Alex. I don't know who Liam and Amelia are, but... Uh, SPPD East. Hallstrom. Hallstrom for president. Hallstrom for president there. <laughs> Kurt Hallstrom, they want you to run for president. Senior commander. Well, there you go. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. For your support. That is really cool. He's even got it lit up, so he's got a light on there. <laughs> it's good to have supporters. And, by the way, he... Uh, Hang on one sec. Yeah. He has uh, cameras. Squad 223, I take care of 911. Cameras that uh, videotape when something goes wrong. And, frankly, that's one of the reasons we haven't had as many problems here. Definitely. At the BP gas station. We have an interest PIC calls for a Lori Ellis in apartment 907. And, of course, the aggressive enforcement of all the stolens that used to come by here. Come on, Devin. That's for Adam. No. 2300. 125, 128, I copy. You're in route to the disturbance. 641. I don't know why there's so much fog in their cameras. I noticed that on Thomas's, too. But maybe it's just the night, you know, how sometimes it's a little bit foggier than others. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know if you noticed, but the Mr. Goodman that remember that car chase that we had on the freeway the wrong way, and the, where the dog was thrown out. Yes. So, in addition to that chase where he carjacked oh, somebody he else, shield, he carjacked some other people after that as well. And ATF and our department, St. Paul, worked together to arrest him. And uh, he was charged federally today. Was that the arrest on a Burgess? Yes. Wow, excellent. He was charged, charged federally. And uh, with carjacking and possession of a. And, um. I know, it's great news when we get the federal government to help us charge some of these people. So, at least one of the guys, we're searching for the second one, has been charged federally. So for those of you, I think we talked about it once before, you know there was a there was a big community meeting regarding school safety. And uh, some sixty-eight people testified. There was some powerful testimony in there. Very powerful. And there's a video on line that we posted on Live on Patrol, a four minute video that kind of capsulates that. And, uh, but the resounding theme is we need our kids to be safe in school or they can't really learn. So hopefully, we're going to get some progress here on that front. We don't really know for sure what the school district's planning. But, uh, a20CN is going to be 035 It's a reoccurring theme, and one of the reasons that I'm working to open up a school that I can ensure kids are safe. And the School of Leadership for Public Service is, is going to be uh, much smaller than a major high school or middle school, but much safer and much easier to... Uh, Learn. Not to mention, there'll be exposure jobs in the public service. And so, if if you're concerned about your child's safety, or if you know someone that is, just go online, Google the School of Leadership for Public Service, send them an email, and uh, you get some information. You can just. And, and you know what? Everybody should be concerned. I'm concerned. I got a 17 year old that goes to high school. Or, or we're you have to be concerned with what happens inside the school. And, and the other thing is, you have to expect honesty about what's going on. And that's one of the biggest problems the, dis the disclosure of all the guns that have been recovered. So many parents are saying, what the heck, why did no one ever tell us? One of the most concerning things to me was the talk of, I think it was 50 to 60 at any given moment who wander the hallways, who intimidate other kids from going into the restroom. And that one girl's comments were just, they were truly heartbreaking. Right. She was talking about when she was a freshman at Harding, there were school resources officers in the school, and she and her friends felt safe. Right. Now her and, and her senior year is supposed to be her most memorable year, and she was so looking forward to it. And she said the memorable thing about her senior year now is seeing a student be murdered in the hallway. Yeah. That is... That's that, that brought tears sad. to my eyes. Yeah. Well, the thing, folks, that you need to remember is even if nothing happens for a month, 
the kids in the school are constantly worried about it happening. Yep. And that's not the environment that people should have to go to school in. And I said this before, it's always the 1 to 3 percent that ruin it for the 97 to 99. I'm sorry, you said 611 is not Anyhow, it's just, it's, you have options you, nowadays. You have options. Board, you have options to move your child to a safer location. And uh, if the school board's not going to add school resource officers to the schools, it doesn't matter to me how they reimagine them like they're talking about. Put them in soft attire. Put them in pajamas for all I care. Right? Put them in shorts. But uh, polo shirts. T shirts. Whatever the reimagining is, but get additional safety into the schools. I know not everybody agrees. People never agree on everything. That's what adults are supposed to do, decide what's best for the children, even if there's not 100% agreement. Exactly. Where, is he still out the hotel? Yes, he is. Is it going downhill? It didn't sound like it. Just a lot of people. Well, they're probably vacating the whole hotel. Sad. Oh, look, they're open again. When did they open again? Right now. This is the first night? Yeah. Grand opening! Yay! Grand opening! Yay! Same, same owners? Same owners? Still got oxtail fa? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know about that. I didn't even look at the menu. <laughs> I don't know. I just heard about it like hey, maybe two hours ago. You're not here for the You're not here for the food. You're here for the women. You're not here for the food. You're here for the women. <laughs> Are you implying that you want to come in? Yeah, well, there you have it. Kinda. Hey, Kinda. If you come in, I'm pretty sure they make you both, but Yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. Have a good one, guys. Suspect vehicle and stick. Right? Yeah. Well, what did you do? Yes, Channel 1. Because Darren's over there. The Their crime was over there, but the car ridge is over here. I think it's the theft from vehicle. Right there. There we go. <laughs> Paul V.S. Your sister Robin from Craig, Colorado. Has her birthday coming up March 10th. And she unfortunately recently broke her wrist in a fall. Well, hope you have recover quick. Robin, and uh, happy birthday. So we are looking for, why don't you go ahead and give the description as long as we're close enough here. Yep, before I forget, Todd Ogren, happy 52nd birthday today.
we are looking for a, we want the vehicle description out there yeah why not a white toyota highlander with the plate number CEU zero three list to an Clever, clever. Hey, I'm going to be checking the area of 1001 Euclid Street. Reference harassment at 321. White Toyota Highlander SUV, plate number CUV603. That's why I'm going back. There's a car in that lot there. The right or left? This way, right here. This is the alley would be in, right? Okay. It's an odd number, right? For the. And, right. Oh, I don't think I want to do this. You can do it. Look at these. Oh, Whoa. can you believe these ruts are? Oh my. Goodness. It's a foot deep. It's a record. can't ride in the rut. If we ride, oh, look at the size of that, that rut. If we ride in the rut, we'll win. That's 15 inch rut. Fine. Zig Jeez. You know, it's like a bobsled race. You ever... I won't have to go on the even side of the block. You do it. not. Thank you. Most definitely. Okay. 
was extremely embarrassing because But I'll be to report that the last book that was the Live on Patrol book. Indeed. Live on Patrol book. I'm not saying it was long, but it was meaningful and cute, right? Yes, it was. So, thank you again to Katrina for the Live on Patrol book. And for those of you that want one, if you scroll down on the page, you'll see information as to where uh, you can get one. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. So that was the first, my first book story. And one, two, two. And then later today, one, two, two. We'll uh, start for uh, cardiac arrest, 1845 University of West Norman Five. An advanced copy. Hi. How's it going? Oh, great! Awesome. I want a one, two copy as well. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you folks. You, you live in the area? I live in West St. Paul. West St. Paul? We listen to you guys all the time. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Those guys earlier all over Minneapolis. That was crazy. Oh, let's see. Here's a little keychain. Special. And it's got Live on Patrol on top. And no it says way. it's a Durango on the bottom. Well, you go, why don't you go show them in the. In the oh, in I don't want to be on the camera. Okay. Some of them stay in there, Mono. Oh, we got you. one for Pat, the cat team, the You do. Oh. And. I want you to do a one one three. Action Alex, yeah. Mighty Mike. You guys are oh, so wow. Joe, oh, awesome. And little oh, Keith. These are the best. Oh. Donkeys and Doom. You got a Donkey and Doom keychain? And. Well, you just stopped. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that is and unbelievable. There's some How'd other you ones make those? The, I have a laser, so I just put them, on, put them out on the laser. And some of this is leather, some of it's wood. Yes. Um, there's another one in here. That's really kind yeah, of nice. I got a whole bunch. There's oh, like my oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you've been working hard. Curb, 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 curb. curb. Oh my goodness. Um, let's Those see. are cute oops, 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 oops. Yeah, and you curb, guys curb, can curb. hand them out to all your back seaters, oh. and of course your drivers. And, um, oh. she, did she do all the work? I glued them all together. Uh, pieces, yeah, because the other pieces needed to get glued together. Let me see those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, these, these are you. These are you. These are you. That's really nice. Some sticks. Give them, you know, to uh, Here, let give me, them away. Let me put Sergeant Sticks in front of the camera. The car on the back, back side. Yes. Well, and yeah. this one would do. These are little... Yeah. Little keychains, and some of them says probably. I got a little light for you there. All right, right here. you gotta go lower, buddy. <laughs> oh, and over. <laughs> These are really special. I love those. Yeah. We that, have them all hooked up on different. Uh, oh, different. There's a Durango. Curb, curb, curb. All right. Here, that is cool. Sergeant Sticks. Butcher, will you just stop? That's a that, that's a saying that'll live. In. You know, I had a physical the other day. Stop. I had a physical <laughs> today. The other day, like annual physical. And, Everything was fine except, you know, I'm a little over. And the doctor said, you know, you start by not eating Twinkies and do. <laughs> and, I, and I said, well, I'm not opposed to that, but how do you feel about cherry fruit pies? <laughs> Got one of the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mighty Mike. 
this, these are special. What's your first name? Marina. Marina. Yes. Thank you. Well, what's your name, sir? Larry. 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 So welcome. This is really cool. I did send you a message on Facebook, and I don't know if you. Tries you to. sent me one. Yes. He but tries to. I'm sure you were so good at. Was it tonight? To today oh okay. yeah i have so if you ever want to get a hold of me for me to make some more yeah um would you or my okay. message check your messages and okay these are really cool we got a, we got a bunch that say be kind on there yes. those are those are special i'm gonna make sure that this that the cat team gets theirs though i mean sergeant Absolutely. sticks and everybody keychain. everybody's vehicle is gonna have their Keychain. Yes, that's what I was hoping. Well, the, the thing, it would be kind of cool to put them on a put them on a wall too, though. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, I don't know. Well, Sergeant Sticks didn't have his name. No, no like, that's he's fine. Shy. He is a little <laughs> shy. He was over there in Minneapolis. And I had the Young and the Soulless and the Cat Team, but I didn't get the Kyle and the Thomas and the Chad's name on any of them. But let me know and I can definitely get some. I'm gonna want one you know that for <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll get you the names and Joe Kill I didn't get one for Joe Kill either so but well that's know. the guy you can skip his <laughs> <laughs> name Studi and Messenger that'd be great All right. very much really special very much so. cute little uh, keychains for we got to put, some, put a little wall together of uh, those keychains, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Nice, nice folks from West St. Paul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are we? So, back to the book thing. Yeah, we're second round is not the cop was behind me in a way. I will let them know as well. Eight and E. Edward. It's way out there in the suburbs, but. 113 and 122. Where are you guys at? 81, 96, 81, 95. Do you copy? You're Brighton. 95, I was on Carter. Carter, what was that? 101 is 108 goals for. You know what I like about this is that whenever backseaters find us, Pat, yep. they're always really nice people. Always. Without uh, fail. I mean that eighty one ninety seven is stopping the suspect vehicle on the highway and that, yeah, that is what's special about this is that just nice nice humans, nice people that we come upon. And uh, I think that's the uniqueness of this is that we don't really run into any jerks that are, you know, backseaters. We no. run into some jerks that are backseaters, but, <laughs> but not, our backseater not group just, is uh, just... Unknown of breathing overdose. So last night there was a chase too down uh, Chad, Chad who was with Thomas today, if you listen, I'm sure he probably told you they got into a chase on Maryland Avenue. And uh, Just a book, week speech. Anyhow, anyhow, these all these people, nobody really reads books. I mean, I'm sure there are. I'm sure they just pick the ones that are the least likely to read books to put on TV, right? Um, but you could think you could think of a children's book. What I like to read history. And, uh, Four thirty-two for an 
is uh, I might read about stuff that I I don't know. Uh, I mentioned that I mentioned the comet stuff, and I, I, there's more in that Newsweek article I wanted to know. comment. Remember the comet that 50, oh. comes every fifty thousand mm -hmm. years, and uh, is it coming? Well, yeah, it was just passed by, by the sun now. It's but it's it's gonna leave. We can't see it anymore. We'll be back in fifty thousand years. You and I might still be on patrol. <laughs> I wonder what kind of cars we're gonna have then. Um, but uh, uh, I think they got it stopped though, right? Mounds you hasn't occupied stolen, but I think it's I think it's stopped. If not, I'm sure we'll hear something soon. Anyhow, I got I just want to get to this. So anyhow, this police officer slash assistant professor. I got the driver in custody, I got a passenger slumped over in the passenger seat. Drew Moldenhauer. He's an Aussie right, police officer, over. and he, his writing, his writing co-author is Richard Gassaway, who worked in fire and emergency it's management. Okay. But the title of the book is "How Smart Police Officers Use Situational Awareness to Improve Safety," and um, you know, we've been around long enough that you know we're. We're always reading with, you know, a critical eye. But I, I like this book. And um, I have to take a picture of it right now. Yeah, and um, I read a, 20 pages today when I got it. And I, I got a, it, it just came out. And read that, I can't worry about I'm driving, but just, he wrote us a little note in there. What's it say? Sheriff Fletcher. Thank you very much for all that you do for law enforcement. I wanted to send you a signed copy of my book that I just finished writing. I hope you enjoy it and share it with others. Stay safe and thanks again. By uh, Signed by Richard Gassaway. No, I think it's just signed by Moldenauer, isn't it? Oh, oh both of them? Both of them. Oh, both of them. Very good. Very good. Well, I wasn't sure, but both... Uh, yep. I'm just going to pull over for a minute here. I just want to... I just want to, well, you don't think I can read and drive at the same time? I just want to make a couple points. I only read 20 pages, and I'm going to read the rest of it. Um, and interestingly enough, so far, I've it's relatively easy reading, but it's also succinct. You know how people don't... Sometimes they don't make their point. Mm -hmm. And there's a wide variety of safety issues for situ situational um, awareness. But, uh, I mean, here's the definition of situ situational awareness. The ability to perceive and understand what is happening in the environment around you. In relation to how time is passing, and then using your understanding of the situation to accurately predict future events in in time to prevent bad outcomes. So it really is experience is extremely helpful, but having the skill of situational awareness um, is great. But here here's here's the, I don't read these paragraphs that they were meaningful to me, and they will be to you too, Pat. Let's start with why it matters. Situal, situational awareness is the foundation of good decision making. It stands to reason. The better you understand the details of the situation, the better your decision making will be. This is where I think, this is where he's got a little experience. I like this part. However, there's an odd contradiction here. 
I think that was him locking his car. This oh. is good. There's an odd contradiction no, here. You do not need strong situational awareness to make good decisions. In fact, you can have terrible situational awareness. It was the alarm zero I zip, have a nada, code if you need no it. idea what's going on, and still make a great decision. Yes, please. We call that luck. <laughs> We call that luck. So here's his point. There's nothing wrong with having a little luck on your side. But when it comes to making high consequence decisions, it might be helpful if officers could figure out a way to program out some of the some of the luck and replace it with a skill set. A skill set involves understanding how to develop and maintain situational awareness and how to use it to improve decision making outcomes. So I started reading this today and I, 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 I it, Geranium and Walsh. Here we go, Geranium and Walsh. Gen three. And we're not far away. Happy Gen three Geranium and Walsh. Stand by. Where's he going? What's happening? Which squad was that? Was it 10-1? And 3 7 6 you want to sample the 10-3? Sure. One time. Get your plate here in a second. Yeah. 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 Moving, obviously, something's happening. It doesn't sound like the vehicle's moving, though. Happy, thank you. Clear. Two eight six. Calling a ten two ten three. Would be helpful. Three seven six. You can cancel that. Is it stolen? Three seven six. You know, I can't get it. They want to meet me on four. Just ask him where we're going. 2755, we're pulling up right behind you, I think. Can't go to four. If you want to take a left here, I'm right to your left. 71, I'm out in the Who are we looking for? Did they run? Oh, Chevy, right, that one right there? Uh, we'll take care of it. No Thank you. Right off of Weiss and Park. Iris Tech. Wait. Mute that. Correction, Watson.
Perfect. You have this one and thank you. Done. one twenty one two three. the alarm company called back, saying the female's now in the main lobby in the waiting room. Thirteen, I copy. Took the nine eleven hangout. Fourteen, fifteen, just nine Avenue West. It's gonna be within five meters. That's my three four. You see? All right, back seaters. Sorry, we didn't let you in on what was happening a little earlier, but we had a stolen car here. We drove by earlier, no one was in it. Someone got in it. And uh, as you can see, as we pulled up on him, he was trying to make an escape, but there was zero room. Who uh, who's, who parked in back? That's good, yeah. He was. You saw he tried to move, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Hey, Pat, you can do a little... Pat will do a little tour for you of the car. Go ahead and... Uh, Pat's going to show you the ignition. Yep. <laughs> He's on my side, right? Oh, I gotta go around this way. Zoom out a little bit. You're back up. You're back running, but you want to zoom out a little bit when you're in the car. Look at, look at the broken window. It's taped up on the rear side there, and then there could be a drain. So what they'll do is, they'll usually break out one of the rear windows, either the passenger passenger or driver window and in this case they put tape over it and then if you can put your light on the ignition Sarge and I'll zoom in on the ignition here and you can see right above that blue semicircle there there is a little 
silver metal rectangular piece. And that's what the uh, um, USB cord fits over. Turn it, start the car. It's that simple. I liked how that ball worked. Yeah, that's pretty good. Scared the crap out of the cops, though. Oh, I didn't know there was that money. There you go. There you go. They came to me. Blue and brown, working as one. <laughs> I'm no Suki. I'm no Sergeant Suki, but I'm I gotta work on it. Is there any other West Coast for Midnight EOT? 370. Any additional for Midnight EOT? Any other West Coast? And now Central West Coast Midnight EOT. 364 in additional. Or 272. 272. And 271. Is there any other Central Squads for Midnight EOT? Is there any other downtown view? Have you got a 2347? Oh, yeah. Oh. Check in front of the Wilmong Sneaking Officer, 1246 East Fifth Street. Checking for an available long, long speaking officer. Three six one. Clear step report. Where do you need me? Twelve forty six East Fifth. Can you show me around? Happy. The nice thing about the road is you car to car yep. is that it also has St. Paul's 1, 2, and 3. Oh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Yeah.
It's nice when you can when you can get them paired up like that. Oh. Oh. All right. So again, sorry we uh, hang on, hang on. We kind of muted you here while we were. St. Paul squad found a stolen here and the parking lights were on, running lights were on or something, yeah. but there was nobody in it originally. Oh, say hi to your mom for you. Hi mom, love you. There you go, <laughs> you're, you're the best, you're the best, you're the best. We see lighting, go, go in front of the camera again, Jesus Christ. Yeah, say hi to your mom, there we go, there we go. <laughs> That's funny. That's a subtle hello mom. Go to <sighs> backing out ahead of us there. So it was interesting because, see, the element of surprise is what this is all about. And you could see him in the car, and all of a sudden, he's wondering what's going on here. And it's, did you see his face? Oh yeah. And it's in, I am going to get a screenshot of that face. Yeah, and it's like, and all of a sudden he realized I can't get out forward, right? And then <laughs> at the same exact time, Chad had pulled up behind him. <laughs> so can't go backwards. He did go. He did try to go forward and back, and then at some point he just said, "Hey, it's too tight." <laughs> it's too tight. And then he put his hands like on his face. Did you see that? He put his head down. And put his hands on his face. And Nicole blocked, when Nicole blocked the door. So beautifully, right? Mm -hmm. That was a thing of beauty. Remember, I never hit anything in front of me. Good point. I don't know what's behind us, though, Pat. I Are we have, looking good? I have no idea. Because you know our rear view camera. Uh, there's okay. nothing on the right behind us. <laughs> what was that? Just kidding. <laughs> that was not nice of you. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm going to leave this radio on that zone I was talking about from now on. Somebody's yelling. I think they yelled Bob. How's it going? On to the next. Chad's starting to enjoy this job. <laughs> oh, he's loving it. Who's, who's, who's saying hi? A little further up. Hello? So you can tell he was Coffee. only semi cooperative. And the lesson learned from that stop you saw me talking to him through the window, the windows were rolled up, the car was locked. He had his hands on his face, but it's just a very dangerous time when you can't control a person's hands. Um, so, three seven six JD. This is where communication is critical. Yeah. He said, "Can I unlock the door? All right. okay. Can I open the door?" He said, "Can I open the door?" I said, "Yes." So he took his left hand and he unlocked it. All right. But I continued to say, "Open the door." Okay. But he he was he wasn't willing to open the door. Well, there. Even if he had tried, there's a little problem with how close Nicole's squad was, right? <laughs> so eventually we just had him exit from the passenger side. But in the course of exiting, his, his left hand kind of disappeared along his side, which is always troublesome if you can't always see his hands. Mm -hmm. It's the most important part of that situational awareness is being able to predict where his hands are and what could happen. So then he had his seatbelt on, so we had to unfasten his seatbelt to get him out the okay, passenger side. Now. So, but in terms of uh, in terms Wait, of a stop of a stolen with three cars, textbook, right? Perfect. Textbook. 
Chad got the rear. Nicole got the 45 degree angle on the driver's door. He was going to run. Oh, yeah. First he was going to flee. He tried to go forward, then he tried to go back, and then he was going to open his door as Nicole. It was a, it was like a quarterback doing a checkoff <laughs> on a passing play. Forward, back, door. And then as soon as, the, as soon as she pulled up on the door, he put his hands in his face. <laughs> Our friend face, Heather face. Brown sent us a picture of him putting his hands on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Heather. <laughs> yeah. So, that was... We didn't want to alert him to our presence by having the audio, so that's why we muted it for a little bit. Well, we made a plan. Marathon 45 minutes was only one chase. <laughs> and if you just joined us, of course, it was St. Croix County out by Hudson. Came into our city. Started at about 8 30, 8 35 p.m. Stop location. 
back to the BD with an adult male shooting seven one. I was coming down 35 there, going into work to get the car cleaned out where we hooked up. I'm, I'm apologizing yeah. if you ever saw this, but so, the caller called back, he's the manager. So when I took 694 eastbound, and figuring, hey, well, but the then of course it kept going west, west, west. So it took me a while to catch up with you. Do you still have eyes on him? I'm not sure, I can call him back though. Go. Courtesy ride for an adult male, 1248 Clarence. Did you know, was Bob Fox monitoring that chase, you know? Did he post yeah, that? That was, uh, that was kind of an interesting. Copy out the cop. Four four seven one. Four four seven one. I'm going four. I'll take a second for field two. Ten thirty nine twenty six. Just making sure. Are you able to assist? By the way, I don't know if. Three eight seven one. He is out here with me. But just if everybody start. saw the video of the trooper. He's okay, Captain. 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 Minnesota crime Min Crime Watchers has did cover that, okay. and actually has footage of him on the highway. You know, sp you're looking for a speaking of footage on the highway, no, I was looking for Suki or anybody who could tell me how we ultimately identified the driver from our uh, AOA. Suki, I never got to the driver. Twenty-four eighty-eight. Eight eight. Just we have another uh, caller. They heard three more, and then another while on the line with the TC. Then saw two vehicles being chased down. What's your location? No vehicle descriptions. It's unknown to the three main incidents. Five four elevator going up to seven right now. We're going to a shots fired call out at Maplewood. Here. Event. I'll meet you on seven. It's been four calls now. Two minutes. Was it Barkley in English? Barkley in Frost. Frost. But then there's another call down by Wakefield. Two nine seven three. Put me out on the Wakefield. Field at my location. Put one in custody. Go for Just now saw two vehicles speeding eastbound from Larpenter and Prosperity. No description. Captain. Come on. Why are you on three? I hope you So, whether vehicles are shooting at each other or conducting a drive by or just shooting in the air, we don't know. 4488. It's always possible that fireworks there. At Wakefield Park. Wakefield Park. West Park, a lot of remnants of aerial fireworks. You can recode it to that. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Copy. 88, can I have you assess 7 1 on our traffic? Wakefield's got a long history of fireworks. We're going to delay a little bit going to Nicole here for a little bit because we were so late getting on. But we will get to Nick at night. about uh, 
tomorrow's basketball game. I think it might have been on our Intel thread. I did not. North St. Paul and Johnson. So, anytime you get a large number of kids together, whether it's ho hockey games, basketball games. Well, I would say with the exception of wrestling. <laughs> By the way, the state wrestling championships are this week. Those are usually pretty peaceful events. Yeah. My son went down today to root for a Moundsview wrestler. But uh, so the wrestling tournament, wrestling tournament will continue tomorrow. Yeah. Ooh, this road we've been on all night. Yeah. Amen. I don't know if they cook, if they bake every night at Baldinger, but in the old days we used to drive by here, it was like heaven. <laughs> the Baldinger bakery smell. This has definitely been an interesting evening. Yeah. So far. I, you know, I help out. I love helping out, but uh, the full-time members of the team leave me in the dust. They, they are an incredible bunch. Kyle Williams. Three, six, one. Uh, I think I mentioned Siegelstrom already. And then, of course, now the Three, night six, crew, S Sergeant Sticks, Chad. Well, you start by your location. Nicole. Sergeant, Tony Bodie. Tony Bodie. His his and what a just right an now. amazing group of amazing group of deputies. Just, the whole the whole sheriff's Fair office is here. made up of some really amazing deputies. Yeah. This is female. Unit female with a fever and does have a history of several. I mean, it's you, you, you never work yourself out of a job but they certainly have had amazing impact on reducing crime absolutely this, this is the thing about well people say data driven approach I don't like the term but I like focusing on the career criminals but if the data tells you these people are repeat offenders Focus on the career criminals. And makes a big difference. Zero four two. 
Just heard another one at twelve ten. By the way, that's another reminder. Seriously speaking, backseaters, if you know someone in law enforcement, we are taking lateral transfers, hiring from other agencies. We have competitive pay. Please get a hold of them. Tell them, apply at the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office. Or her. Him was sort of a generic term. Him or her. Track of all these radios. Yeah, Call Sean Campbell. Let's find out exactly. Calling Sean Campbell. What was going over there at the Hamilton Hotel? I'm sure the gang sergeant went there just in case. Sergeant Campbell, you are live on patrol, and everybody wants to know what the heck happened over there with the mace, and what's the end result over there? Can you can you give us a, a public safety update? I can. Hello, backseaters. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start with a proper introduction. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, so an adult uh, rented a room there, and our associates with the STDs were actually partying in the room and started to fight amongst themselves. Okay. And some females pulled up some bear mace, proceeded to mace uh, the, the people they were fighting with in the room, in the hallways, and outside. Oh. So virtually um, all the floors from the third floor up were contaminated with bear mace. Oh. And the sad part is, honestly, well, everybody listening, is all these out of towners were staying at the hotel for the boys' high school wrestling match. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. So I, uh, that's uh, the hotel is very cooperative, very helpful, but it was uh, the, the bear mace was so thick, Bob. Uh, even I succumbed to some of the contaminants. Yeah. And that takes a lot because your body has built up a lot of natural immunity. It has to, to ASR, but yeah. just not Burmese. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. And your, and your cohort sitting next to you knows that because you could probably tell the backseaters a story where we're up at uh, working off duty and we both maced each other by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to break up a fight. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it well. Yes. <laughs> so that's uh, no arrests because um, they were pretty much gone when we got there. But uh, the room is destroyed and, and uh, there's a lot of unhappy out of towners. That's very sad. Very sad for them. So are they gonna are well, they are they gonna move them to a different hotel or what? What, what happens to the? Uh, well, um, some of the parents were checking out. Know, we were there. Yeah. Trying to find a different hotel. I, I hope that 
there's some compensation for those. You know, this is a big weekend for, you know, the high school kids. Yep. yep. And, you know, it's kind of sad that they have to, you know, get exposed to that for no reason. Terrible. Terrible. You know? We're, we're, so, I know you meant, I'm not going to re-mention the three-letter name of the group, but did we able to identify any of the young people that were there, or most of them gone already? Um, most of them are gone. Okay. We, uh, officers, when they first got there, did uh, see a couple people they knew. Okay. And uh, I can tell you that offline. Yeah, yeah, but they might have some body camera footage that Je oh, yeah. Je Jelly Joe can look at and try to help figure yep. out. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, that's good. That's we'll good. be we'll be going through that tomorrow. All right. Yeah, they're all every two weeks they get a hotel room somewhere, you know? Did, well, we, did you find any guns in the room this time or not? No. We went up there. Okay. And it was hard because it was so thick, but yeah. we tore it apart as close as we could. Yeah. And uh, we did not find any weapon. Okay. Well, thank so I'm guessing th they at least grabbed that. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for the update, Sarge. Appreciate that. Well, yeah, you, uh, you saved tonight. I know you had a big pursuit. Good job. And they caught the guys, right? Yep, yep. Sure yep. did. Hey, All right. Hey, well, do you have any, uh, any favorites in the state high school hockey tournament for next week that we should know about? I, well, I do because, uh, uh, I, I got a pull for Hill because my good buddy uh, Whistler's kid is is on the team and he's a senior. Mike Whistler, yeah. And, uh, yeah I don't know if you're watching the game at all, but he had a nice hit. He had a nice hit when he okay. plays defense, of course. As the guy came down, he, he, like that he took him out right in front of the right in front of the student section. It was pretty good. Oh, that's earlier. exciting! You know, I miss those days. Back. That's a, that's fun. Yeah. So I do. I am rooting for them. Uh, very good. Very good. Well, that will be one but of the favorites. Guys, yeah, they will. You guys be safe tonight for the rest of your, your tour, and uh, just say a, a, a very happy uh, evening to all the backseaters, and we'll see you soon. You're the best, Sean. Thank you very much. <laughs> see you, right, Sean. Guys. God bless. Thank you. All right. Thank who you. loves you? Who loves you? You do. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. Thanks a lot, buddy. See you later. Thank you. See you, Bye. Sean. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was the highlight of our night right there, oh, right? Absolutely. The highlight of our night. Sergeant Sean Campbell with the gang unit at St. Paul. He rightfully was thinking instincts wise that some of the kids that were hanging at the hotel might have some criminal affiliation. Was most of them were gone, but he was right. We'll be clear advisor cat comments with one time. A room rented by an adult. A fight that starts with kids drinking and smoking marijuana. Bear mace is deployed. The entire hotel is essentially is contaminated and travelers and out-of-staters have to... Weekend is basically ruined for the families of the wrestlers yeah. who are staying there. Yep. Terrible. I mean, that just hurts the, hurts the reputation of the city in terms of hotels and that's Absolutely. why we got to stay on top of these kids. Yep. We're on Frost yeah, Avenue over by the fireworks, but it, over by the shots fired, but it's been yeah. determined it probably was fire fire fireworks. Yeah, so close. Okay. You just saw a guy on the news that... Uh, Squad 110. Claims he's going to eat McDonald's for a hundred years. Really? To prove, to prove you can lose weight. To prove it's not not fast food that causes the problem. So what's he going to do? Eat McDonald's salads? Well, I suppose. I suppose he's going to balance his, you know, eating for the proper food groups. You know, cheeseburger, cheeseburger, and cheeseburger. <laughs> With an occasional fish fillet of fish. Well, there you go. Actually, I do think filet of fish, if you took off that tartar sauce, it's pretty healthy for you. Took off the tartar sauce. Well, not took all off, of took it. Took off the breading. Well, <laughs> yeah. Let's not go overboard, huh? Well, and you didn't fry it in grease. That's the other thing. Yeah. But, uh, 
No, I saw that guy in the news. And speaking of the news, there was something. Oh, did you see that the uh, mayors of Minneapolis and St. Paul, the attorney general, are sent a letter to Kia and Hyundai asking them to recall? I did see that. And, um, of course, we're, we're thankful for that. We've kind of been shouting out for a year and a half that that should happen. Mm -hmm. but, but progress comes in a lot of different ways. So thank you, mayors. Mayor Fry, Mayor Carter, Attorney General Ellison, thank you for sending your letter to the Kia, bringing more awareness to the fact that that uh, the number of stolen and I and I don't know if you saw the figures. The figures went from like 300 stolen Kias and Hondas to 3,200 in a year. I mean, we're talking about an unbelievable. In what uh, locale? Minneapolis and St. Paul. Oh, okay. They added them together. I mean, so, I mean, Minneapolis is a higher increase, but St. Paul's is very dramatic as well mm -hmm. in terms of the numbers. Increase from 21 to 22. Interestingly enough, though, you know, sometimes you say, well, it's the same way everywhere in the world. It's not the same way. There's only certain no, cities that are really getting hit. Of course, it's Milwaukee, Chicago, Minneapolis. Then you work your way through Cincinnati and some towns in Ohio, Detroit. But if you go to Florida, Texas, California, this trend is not not taking over. Mm -mm. And very much a Midwestern thing. Under 94 with Minnesota plates. Charlie Papa Lima 100. We're coming for it. That? Anyhow, thank you to Drew Moldenhauer for sending me an advanced copy of his book. I am going to read that. And there's actually, if you're in law enforcement, I'm going to actually think it might. He's got a class coming up in April. I might send some of our people here. Just take a read that over a little bit. April, where's it at? In Anoka County? Sorry about that. It's on my birthday. It's post-approved for eight credits. It'll be uh, Drew Moldenauer, Sergeant Rich Webb, and Officer Gerard Dixon. I think they're from Ramsey, Minnesota. Not Ramsey County, Ramsey. Mike thought that they had been involved in a... In a Officer involved. Very. Both are recipients of the Medal of Honor yeah. by the Chiefs of Police Association for their. That was probably for that incident, yeah. Mm -hmm. so Improve uh, safety by ensuring attendees understand how to develop and maintain situ situational awareness while working in high stress, high consequence, yeah. time compressed environments. Learn lessons of survival from Sergeant Rich Webb and Officer Gerard Dixon as they tell their story about their officer involved shooting. That's the pertinent. That's the what? That's the pertinent stuff from the Yeah. Something I'm really ha ha. Hit and run. Johnson and ha ha. Maroon Kia Sorrento. Last seen eastbound Minnehaha. 327. Well, there you have it. 327. The odds are very great. But that that hit run car is a stolen. I was headed to Rice Street to go north to the McDonald's there on 36, but duty calls, you know, so. Indeed. Maroon, Kia, Sorrento. Correct. Remind me, the Sorrento is like a small SUV? It's a 
a little bigger than a Sportage, which is what I drive. Okay. Well, there's got to be enough cars out here to see that guy maroon Kia Sorento somewhere. Just over by there, not too long ago. Call the Nicole Sparks work phone. Maroon Kia. Sorry, I don't have a work number for Nicole Spark. Maroon Kia Sorento just passed one of our back seaters. Okay. East on Minnehaha from White Bear. Okay. One person in it. Oh, just a maroon Kia. Don't know if it was a Sorento or not. Should have front passenger side damage. Freed up, or are you still busy? I have been freed, I'm ready to go. All right, so we're gonna send it over to you, and then at two o'clock, we'll bring it back. You'll have it for an hour and a half. And uh, sound good there, marathon lady, marathon. Yeah. Pat's a marathon man, you're the marathon woman. <laughs> so, who was in that movie, Marathon Man? Was that uh, Stallone or who was? No, not Stallone. No. Marathon Man. Marathon Man. That's a movie from like the 80s. I can't remember. I thought it might have been uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hey, check here. You, you backseaters, you got to tell us who was in the movie Marathon Man. It was a very strange movie, but it was worth seeing. Well, hang. So, Nicole, hang on in there for a minute. Absolutely. The backseaters are already saying hi, Nicole. Yeah. Are you looking for the maroon Kia Sorento? Hi. Oh. Yeah, you broke up a little bit. I said I am. I'm rolling up and it right now. Dustin Hoffman. That's right. He was the marathon man. Yep. Okay. All right, well, I don't know. We, hopefully your phone's going to uh, work okay. I know sometimes yours gets a little bit uh, buffering, but hopefully it's... Yeah, it's it always with that. I don't know what's going on with that either, to be honest with you. I asked Kyle if something wrong, and he said, no, it's just kind of technology, so hopefully not. <laughs> Did you hit something or what? A pothole. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what it sounds like. Yeah, that, does, that is a loud bottle. <laughs> yeah. So let me, you, you take a look at these, Pat. Tell me which one's hers. Uh, camera six. Right okay. All right, we are going to send it over to you. And uh, it'll only take one, one or two seconds after I say we hit the button. But you might uh, you might not know it then, and we'll we'll take it back around two o'clock after after you find it stolen. Sounds good, Sheriff. I'll find one for and, us. And uh, you know we got a keychain for you somewhere. Sergeant Sticks was excited about getting his keychain. You know, <laughs> it's excitable. So. Hey, did you find your shatter ball?
30 minutes. Well, we're going back to them. So, have her shut her phone off and back on. Yes, sir. Your screen seemed to be black. So, black? Okay. I don't know. You know, Kyle has this all close the apps and shut the phone off and then reboot it. You want to try that? Yeah, this will be the fourth time. <laughs> I'll try it again, see if it works from there. So, yeah. all right, I will be doing that right now, and I will send you a text when it is uh, uh, right. back up, and uh, let me know. All right, thanks. Bye. All right, bye. 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 It's not uh, perfect technology by any step of the imagination. We don't really know why, but the phones seem to like to have There's probably some, some data stuck in some cache. Is that what the hell you spirit pronounce it? C A C H E cache. Yeah, I catch. I'm not sure. Cache. So that's where the data it probably gets stuck there, and then you need to clear it out by closing the app before you try. So we're gonna try to send you back over. Hey, John. Hi. I don't know if you wanted your scene lighting on, but no, it, I'm in here playing with lights. it's very bright. <laughs> 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 we got to get you an unmarked car besides, right? <laughs> well, you're, anyhow, your roof lighting's on. Thanks. See you, Tony. <laughs> that is a good guy. Yeah. So glad he's on the team. Yeah. Yeah, I had a meeting with him and uh, Gerald Blett today. And uh, very impressed with both of those guys in terms of their police talent, but also uh, just their communication skills. And kids, you know, Tony was a school resource officer before he became a canine. Did a, did a great job. Actually, one of the first calls I ran in, and I was watching him deal with a mentally troubled child that had left school, and I was very impressed with how he... You know, you only get one chance to make a first impression, and I was very impressed. And uh, Daryl the same way. Daryl Gillette, now that works up there at Cora. So, we're going to try to switch over to Nicole again. We'll see how this goes. If we can't make it. Well, that's very sad. Sorry about that. And, uh, I really don't feel comfortable waking up the smartest man. So I guess you're stuck with us, folks. Yes, sir. Sorry about that. Does not seem to be working tonight, but don't worry about it. Just go out and find a stolen. Sounds good. good. Well, thank you for everything. Appreciate it. Thank yep. you. Bye. Sure. Bye. Well, there you have it. Sorry Ca about that. And it's cachet, we're told. Cachet, yeah. I don't know. I'm not positive about that. I think it is. Cachet is one word, but I think when they say you have to empty the cash, I don't know if there's a second syllable in there. So, that seemed to turn something. Yeah, you know, it was the same thing I was going to say. Right here, right? Yep. Which, oh, it's got a house there that they build into up here. 7th Street House, 1012. Oh, where do we got going here? Uh, ANX 740. Something on the left side of the street here. Mm -hmm. Just getting out. ANX 740. Ah! Something ain't right with this car. ANX 740. Although that is a, that is a shortcut down to 7th Street. Going to the, the fish and chicken. 
Oh, it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I don't know how late they're open, but it's 12.30. Uh, they're open till 2 or 3, Steve Lydon said. How's it going? Three seven six the case number. Really? Mm-hmm. Well. Three seven six case number zero three five seven eight eight zero three five seven eight eight. Did you have any near accidents on that chase? Um. No. Not really. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm talking about with other squads. <laughs> When we were over north, I had a couple of civilians scream at me. <laughs> I almost get, ran into a trooper there, but uh, I had the green. <laughs> uh, I had the green, and then I could, I could tell they were just coming. Of course, they turned the reds on 30 feet from the intersection, but, which isn't unusual, right? But then I hit the binders and it was ice. <laughs> but you know how the ice is, then when you get into the intersection, it actually is pavement. You know, there's ice right into the intersection. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, there was enough friction there at the end. But that's happened thousands of times and somehow the professional driving of well-trained people ends up being adequate enough to avoid collision. Yes, indeed. And uh, you just got to say that, you know, the more that our officers are involved in these types of matters, the, uh, the more highly skilled and trained they become. What do we got here? Squad 217. It's like a big Tahoe behind us. This will be assisted with 267 and 286. Copy, 30 minutes. Well, I can smell that herbalness coming through the closed window. I think it's the one that went next to us or the one behind us? That's challenging. Wow. illegal to smoke pot while you're driving even if pot becomes legal in Minnesota mm -hmm. as it should be we're gonna probably have to have a besides a DWI car we're gonna have to have a DWP car <laughs> Driving while I'm pot. Well, let's go downtown and see if any remnants are there from earlier today. I think I think the athletes do get put up in the, in the Intercontinental and St. Paul Hotel. I'm not positive. I used to work. All the teams stayed at the Intercontinental. I don't know if they can handle everybody.
Well, you know, you talking about Marathon Man makes me want to look it up and watch it again. That was a good movie. Yeah. The one with Roy Scheider was his brother who was like the CIA agent, right? Mm -hmm. Are you thinking of, uh, no, you're thinking of um, Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider in, uh, oh, I don't want to say the Centurions, but it wasn't that. Nope, nope, nope. nope. I think nope. I'm thinking the right one. This, okay. The, uh, the Nazi who was hiding out keeps asking Dustin Hoffman, is it safe? Is it safe? I don't and he's a I... dentist, this Nazi. Well, look it up on Google. Yeah, I'm thinking of the, the, the Jackal there. with Robert Redford. Nope. <laughs> condor, Day of the Con Condor. Day of the Condor, yeah. That was a good one, too. Yeah. One of them. It made me not want to go to a dentist for a very long time. If I'm thinking right, right, right. right, right. I remember that part. Well, the thing is, Pat, you don't like going to dentist anyway. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Is it safe? Is it safe? Oh, my God. And then the sound of the dental drill. Yeah. 43 <laughs> Oh, we're talking. We're talking for a vaccine coming. We got negative on that. We need Max to come in. They're code four to come in. Semi quiet down here. Yes, it is. You are right, LB Knight. Lawrence Olivier played the Nazi dentist. Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's, That's the one you were thinking yeah, yes, of? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> running, running Man, exactly. When I said a marathon man, I was Running Man. Thank you for that. Thank you for resolving that in my brain. Michael Wise, thank you. But I much preferred Marathon Man. Yeah. We're coming by the XL Energy Center where the wrestling tournament is. I don't know really which team is prevailing they have team and individual matches so if you're if you're an individual star you get come to the state tournament and also if your team is That's the uh, Washington County radio you're hearing in the background. Some hey, stuff okay. taking place out in Washington County. Burger Moe's was packed today. Well, so was Reed's. But Moe's was like, there wasn't a table. Really? And uh, all the people down there for the hockey tournament. Reed's was very, very busy, too. I was disappointed, though, they didn't have their salad bar. It's because for the tournaments, they have a you know unique menu. And oh, okay. I guess they've made a decision not to have the salad bar but during the tournaments. But I was in this healthy mood, you know. The doctor told me to eat less fat, right? Mm -hmm. so I went down to get a salad bar. And particularly, I like beets because beets are good for you. Okay. Red beets, but nope. 
I had the taco salad instead. So, which was good. But. Copy, how would you like your taco? Looks like the Good Uber, I think. Huh. I think that's the holiday the the the, 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 what, the double tree crowd wanting to get Central a, 1570 cars <laughs> for a stalled vehicle partially blocking the right lane. Southbound 35E at County Road 42. Caller said it was a blacked out Dodge Hellcat. Mm. It is Bear Mace. 48 minutes. I gotta say that quite often the young girls that we stop have bear mace. Mm -hmm. been a few years now, but one of the bars right there at uh, Jackson and Acker, either Hoover's or the one across the street, yeah. two, two stick-up men walked into the bar. Instant they walked into the bar, they opened up on everybody in the bar with bear spray. Yeah. And then robbed the till, robbed the pull tabs. It's got to be hard to commit a robbery when there's mace in the air, though. You'd think. Unless they were gas mess. I don't know. One thing I out and you tried to spray them, but you, you got both yourselves. You're both incapacitated, so. Mm -hmm. And generally, police officers are more used to dealing in that environment once it's sprayed. We couldn't get uh, Nicole's uh, camera to work properly. We apologize for that. We tried a couple times, but uh, she's out there rolling around. We'll probably end up coming across her. Good chance she will come up with something. She or Sergeant Suki. I think what we got to do is we those keychains with your saying on there. Will you just stop? There's a few of those. We got to we got to give those away to some. Special people. Absolutely. Will you just uh... two and a half years? It's crazy. Is it? Well, at some point we might just, you know, live stream twenty four hours. Just get some officers that are interested and willing to do it. Let them all go. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. People learn a lot. The officers get a chance to communicate and connect with people. When you last time you opened the computer up, it looked like the pendings were not too many, not existed. One.
not, it's not even a pending, it's uh, off duty work. So what do we got? How many calls are out there? Not too many, huh? Well, there's quite a few active a ones, but, off, but that's throughout the whole county, so that's really not many. You know, a lot of them are off duty jobs. I saw a motor vehicle theft though. Let's take a look at this. Is it a maroon? Yeah. <laughs> it's a silver Range Rover. That'll stand out. Nine nine one is how the plate starts. Did you ever uh, did you ever build models and paint them when you were young? Yeah, but I didn't do a very good job of it. Like um, airplanes, or battleships, and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Because there's a paint color for cars. Like that car right there in front of us. Mm -hmm. See, it's got it's like a it's like an airplane gray. Oh, there's a battleship gray too. You know, battleship gray that the two of them's car is battleship gray. I think this is the exact same gray as the one that did the uh, murder on the west side. She got the one that tumble fresh. Black. Where are you at? Place of Sergeant, where are you at? Turn At the Tumble French <coughs> Laundry, Carpenter and 35 e I'm gonna give you a four for a score on your parallel parking. <laughs> Have a good one. Clock on the St. Agnes Tower up there, say one o'clock. Sure does. Quiet tonight, Pat. Did you fall asleep or what? 
No, no, just uh, <laughs> all anticlimactic after that uh, catching that stolen. Well, I, I'm going to try to, I got something to keep you up. You can clear us as I said, and we'll start for that disturbance. Of course you do. All right, so, I mean, even though there's only like 30 of them that haven't been read, the other ones haven't been responded to, so have at it, have at it, young Jedi. that uh, an Indiana State Trooper was struck by a vehicle yesterday afternoon and has passed in the hospital. Uh, Hate hearing that. Siegfried DeWolf. Dangerous out there. It is. 111 in the squad's University. happy... Happy 55th birthday to his brother Bart, March 8th. 111 or 110 or 125, check your new status. All right, March 8th. Happy to go for Wednesday. Yep. Johnny Landry in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada had his birthday. February 26th, his 32nd happy birthday. 32nd. Oh, to be 32 again, huh? Oh, boy, that was a long time ago for me. Doug Halling. Shout out to you, Bob, Bridget, and Amanda. Thanks for being back, Senator Cedars. Well, Cassandra Mankowski, I wish I knew your fiance's name. But happy anniversary to the both of you today. Cassandra's fiance, she loves you so much. You are the peanut butter to her jelly. That's the first Volkswagen bug I've seen in a while. Just went by. Mm-hmm. Or peanut butter to her jelly. That's okay. Thank you, 1 o'clock. Squad 2-2-3, intro me 10-8, and start me to 2 one 7 place code 4. 5-5-8, copy. 5-5-8. We're going to put a big question mark on this one. Okay, 1 o'clock. Well, you don't have to read them all. Tomorrow <laughs> 6, Metro 10-7. Have a good night. Here as well, 1 o'clock. So we're listening to the State Patrol frequency in the background, and that's a shift change for State Patrol. A lot of them are going home to sleep. Todd O'Green, happy 52nd birthday. What do we got on Channel 3 there, Pat? Slumper. Two That's all we got is slumper. You better call all back and pending. We're a couple blocks south from 217's traffic.
two one seven on code four. Happy yeah. the code four. Yeah. One one. Well, Nick at midnight, have a shout out to give you from some back seaters. Melissa Menta and her daughters Connie and Priscilla never misses watching LOP and they want to give the brave officer Nicole Sparks a shout out. Well deserved. Indeed. Ah, uh, that's gonna be the, uh, yeah, the, the one I just told you about. Jackson. Eleven sixty one Westminster. Okay. Have a gun in the car. Have a gun in the car. Have a gun in the car. Have a in the head that time. Is there 
Oh, shit. Goodbye. Alright, we have a hold of him. I'm trying to get him out of the car now. Somebody complain. Trying to get the male party out of the vehicle. He's semi compliant at 107. Squabbits everywhere, no. Seven fifty seven squads are ready. Can I get out, Mark? Or not really? Is there anywhere right behind me? I don't know. 36104, one in custody. Vehicle's clear, too. Doesn't look like anybody. Catch a country, please. Oh, there's two cars in the street back there, though. Three six one cover again. Rehose four one in custody. Vehicles clear. Ten leave with ten three edit. One away. Good on my side. Uh, no, I think they're gonna move. Shield. Shield looks good on you. How you doing? Yeah, one away. Slumber with a gun. It was back some rather unpleasant memories. Yeah, but the thing about it is, is uh, let's give credit to the St. Paul cops that deal with these situations, well, everybody does. You know, it's a tough situation. It's not unlike the Minneapolis situation where the SWAT team, you know, comes, somebody's sleeping and the gun is grabbed. When you come across people, I'm sure what happened here is the, the slumper probably grabbed for the gun, right? And they probably could have gone the other way. They could have ended up shooting them. You could hear it on the radio, right? Mm -hmm. But they didn't because they had situational awareness. Exactly. Right? And that comes from experience, situational awareness. Where are those squad cars? Are they in your side? Yeah. Yep. But you got lots of room. You realize, though, if I hit somebody, it would be in the news. Of course. Right? You say it's easy. So you to, just keep a good eye on your easy left. Easy to say you got lots of room. Keep a good eye on you your know. left. I got you right. Those guys are leaving, it looks like. Hopefully. One left, huh? Mm-hmm. The other option, I suppose, I could pull into a driveway. Whoa. Now you got a van coming up on your left behind you. I don't know how close it is a, to you. A van or a man? A white van. Okay. You mean that van? You're, you're, you're really doing bad things tonight. My kid does that to me. Every time we go to the Mall of America, he pretends it hits the ceiling, pretends that we hit the roof on the way into the Mall of America. Hold your bike, you me at that squad. Well, I thought that squad was going to back into that car. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a camera in his car that works probably. I think... Pretty soon we'll be driving a I wouldn't, I would, 76 Dodge 440. I would not drive a car without a camera anymore. I wouldn't. Well, let me ask you this. You know, I flew out of town last yeah, weekend. Mm -hmm. And on the way back, it was total overcast. Okay. Just to the west of the apartment. So now you're... 
your landing in the Twin Cities and the the ceiling is like a thousand feet. And you gotta ask yourself, what's the pilot see? And the answer is not a damn thing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Just white cloud you're coming through. Alright? Mm -hmm. So he's got instruments. There's you know, there's visual landing and there's instrument landing. And he's looking at those instruments. And you know, I suppose the cloud cover broke at about a thousand feet, you know. And everybody feels a lot better then, right? Right. But just a, I mean backing up is like five percent like it's like for a pilot you can't see a damn thing without your camera right yep so um the uh i guess i admire those guys you gotta have you gotta have a fair amount of trust in your instruments when you're flying in soup, right? Mm -hmm. Never mind, you gotta have trust in the air traffic That's controllers that are that are keeping you separated from other planes, right? No kidding. Twin so it should be any minute they're southbound 44 at Lake. So it's widely considered one of the most stressful jobs there is being an air traffic controller. Yeah. They don't probably don't have Twinkies either. <laughs> they probably have to bring a bank lunch. That would be difficult. I still say a series of prayers every time I fly. And I've flown hundreds of times. You do. But, yeah. No, that's me. I was going to be wanted for a gross misdemeanor. One of my, you know what one of my prayers is? I mean, this, this is, this is in jest. But it should be. When I get to the pearly gates, I want to know how those giant airplanes actually stay in the air. <laughs> I mean, I know a lot about physics, air pressure, molecules under the wing, over the wing. It still doesn't make sense. in a physical fight with her ex there. Right when I got back then, there was a plane, there was a plane... Lufthansa plane that was flying from Texas. It was going to Germany, I think, but it hit what they call those empty air pockets, and everybody fell. Like the plane fell like 50 feet because of no air under the wings, and anybody that was not buckled in got pinned against the ceiling of the plane. Yeah. So they had to land in Virginia to uh, have everybody checked out. But first they got thrown against the ceiling, and then as soon as they hit the air, then they got thrown back down. And once you've seen medics are going, I'm not exactly hmm. sure why. But I will double check. Uh, I pretty much always got my seatbelt on when I'm flying. Oh, copy, thank you. I don't see any reason to take it off. Let's see what's going on here. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> he doesn't look that happy, does he? How's everyone? Reach one and copy. If you can start towards the domestic tent, what? Christian, how's it going? Clear. How's anyone clear? How's anyone? Clara advising that her husband pushed her and our car hit and hit our car in the head. No, we really haven't had any gunplay in this parking lot. Got no. me. Right? Nope. Sure. And does show that the husband has left 
Yeah, I don't know if he left in a vehicle or in foot. How are you doing? Excellent. What are you up to? Just eating? Yeah. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. Timmy is five years old and live on patrols, littlest big fan. He takes naps so he can stay up and ride along in the back seat. All right, Timmy. All right, shout out to Timmy from his loving mom, Nicole. X, cut the comp or something. L.O.P. quote unquote Major Melon Mountain Dew Buddy. There you go. Simon Edwards, thanks for watching from Manchester, United Kingdom. Isn't there really a good uh, soccer team there? Yeah. Manchester. Mm hmm. Tom Hendrickson rides with us from Powell, Wyoming. His great uncle was St. Paul police officer George Stegner, who was shot and killed during an armed robbery in 1922. Wow. Thanks for watching this. 101 stuff. years ago. Unreal. Paul Rice wants to remind us all to clear the snow away from our fire hydrants. And that actually is very important. Kevin Joseph, he's a black male, is 43 years old, 6'2", 285 pounds, and I'm clothing. Steve Budzian had his birthday February 24th. Happy birthday. Benny Wilds turned 63 on the 27th. Lynn Norberg on the 27th. Patty Knops on the 27th. Happy birthday to all of you. Dan Garhofer turned 60 on the 20th. With love to you from your wife, Pat. And happy birthday from us. Dennis Weller turned 69 on the 20th of February. Happy golden birthday to Matthew Amschler of Rice Lake, Wisconsin. He turned 25 on February 25th. Ginger Hollabar was February 25th. Jennifer Gimple was February 25th. <laughs> well, this fits in with our conversation last week. John Rabax was born on Leap Day, February 29th, 1964. So in 2024, he will celebrate his 15th birthday. <laughs> I love it. Houston Crawford turned 34th on the 16th. Kevin Zhang, February 23rd. Kay Comer. Happy birthday from Terry Londrosh. Turned 59 on the 23rd. Alicia B, 38th birthday on the 24th of February. With love from Josh. I do not. Prayers to you, Tom Knutson, and your daughter, Michaela. Yes, double prayers. He's been in the ICU at North Memorial for three weeks. You are definitely... Uh, back I got you put, put Tom and his daughter, Michaela, in your prayers. Please. I got you Sounds like she got into a yellow taxi cab, and she's not being very cooperative with the TCs. Thank you, Thank you, One, I got one more that somebody just sent me. You did a fine job. You deserve a star in your chart. <laughs> Happy birthday to Angela Topping, who turns 45 on the 28th of March. 
long time back seat. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, Angie. Wouldn't be a marathon if we didn't drive through and get some food. Oh, it's a long ride. A long. Is it a lonely line? Lonely, lonely line. Well, at least you know how fast they move here. Copy. I'm just having a little over here. Before you can actually clear this off, false alarm. It definitely the long way. It's a long way. Fly over stuff. Curb, curb, curb. Yeah, I don't know if we want to get stuck in that line. I'm not sure. You got my phone still or not? I put it right there. Oh, there you go. Wait for a minute to see if we want to get in there. 116 going. For medics? Medics are not on scene, is that correct? 321. That's correct, they're staging right now. 321. Copy. I'm going to call the mail party to leave in a vehicle. It'll be a great job. Okay, truck, no plate information. Does have a permit to carry and possibly is in possession of a firearm. Caller does not believe he will return back tonight. Copy. 123. The two are on the bus platform down here at the mail. I'll be able to do with the bus platform at 123. Triple two, if you get him detained, you want to just get a picture of him and send it my way, please? Three. Copy. Three, 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 three. Well, well, I don't think we're going to get a hamburger here. I don't okay. think so either. But. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to look at it when I uh, if I can look at the menu as we drive by. Mmm, fish fillet. <laughs> My friend Chrissy said next time you get a chicken sandwich, do not get the crispy. Yeah. You should get the regular. Yeah, it's better for you. But I'm. I'm just, she said it tastes much better. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. Can I just say goodbye to him? See you guys. <laughs> you made me snort laugh. <laughs> oh, you know what I got in here? I gotta, I gotta reach behind you. What the heck did I put that stuff? Nuts. What do you mean? Nuts, you say? Nuts. Oh, here we go. 75. Yeah. I'm guessing that's down in West St. Paul. Oh, two of them. Just to make sure if they don't take the slip. Black Lincoln MKZ. We've chased one of those before. Maybe twice. Maybe. Maybe three or four times. 61 all three. I'm just approaching the split. I don't see tail lights either way. Which split? There's two splits. 35 coming north and 35 coming south. 77 Penn Alpha up six at 75 in College North. Because I care for you so much, I decided to check those nuts to make sure they were still fresh. Can you repeat that location? Car at 75 and... College Avenue North. Copy. 
I'm going to guess St. Cloud. Hey, Joe Card, you got a speed on this car coming in? It seems like it's coming quick. Yeah, my 56, I got hit out. They're hauling ass. They got no taillights. <laughs> I guess hauling ass, but... Yeah, I got a speed of 125. 125 miles an hour. I should have got all four. He is start towards 41 George Avenue. Road clear. Is that came to her door. Is you good. Talk to you. This is where you have the mail half on the line as well. Yeah. 56. Can I join 6103? Thank you. St. Joe, are you joining in? Mm. 7708, I can be right behind 6103. 56, stand by for now. I copy, we just gotta find out if they're still eastbound on 75. 035. To my knowledge, yeah, last I saw they were going on a curve by Quick Trip West. I haven't seen them, I see stuff in the road like they're losing tires. 7710, look at Quick Trip West, I thought I saw a car going there. Those are better than I thought they were going to be. 7708, there was a vehicle on the side of the road, uh, no lights on. That's a good place to hide. The side of the road with your lights off. 2360, no tour, you good if I head that way? Just advising that party is now seeing that the female threatened her and left her dog. Oh, the gun. 56, I got it here, that's college, or sorry, it's a quick
it might be a half hour. <laughs> I've waited longer. <laughs> Did you ever figure out what the end result was on this guy they were chasing here at the Arlington playground here by the Washington School right there? There was they thought he had jumped off a roof and he was bloody and he was taken into custody, I know that. Yeah, but what was the what was the crime? I know Lighten I know that we were using drones to help and they, they was behind the fence but I don't I just don't know I think they thought he had bailed out of a stolen okay um I'll find it here you really it's so clear that someone said they thought he was on top of a house or something mm -hmm. I the uh, resident there called in saying he had jumped or fallen off the roof About six o'clock. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe, yeah. How's that for decisiveness? <laughs> Male jumped off of Comp's complainant's roof and is covered in blood. He's on the back porch now. Caller believes he may have been in the house and tried to flee when the caller got home. Uh oh, 116 feet away with West. So maybe it was a burglar. 134. That should make a little sense. I don't know how he got on the roof. Looking at another call here, where a note on the call is that the a pothole activated the in-car camera system on the squad car. Really? <laughs> Three John, case number is going to be put on. Seven eight six. Seven eight six. Oh, that really gets to be rough driving on these. Twenty four six five. Roads, man.
got that white avalanche. It was stolen yesterday in Maplewood, yep. up on BB Road. Maplewood got, got it at the Northern Air Motel and arrested a 42-year-old suspect. into many 40-something year old auto thieves. You took the shots for with the spot to back search the copy, 1396 Concordia Avenue. We have one call reporting six or seven shots heard in the area of Marshall towards Snelling a couple minutes ago. 12, 12, 12, 12. All right, backseaters, we will be back in a minute. We're going to use the restroom. Sorry we can't switch you over to Nicole, but uh, the radio will keep you busy for a minute. We aren't going to be in there long. Just long enough to get a little break from our bladders. So All the radios are on for you to listen to. Two two three. Two two three. Can you show me ten eight? Generate me an assist citizen at. Let's use the same location, Sibley and Kellogg. Copy assist citizen at. Sibley and Kellogg. Copy assist citizen at one forty one. Two twelve. I'll be out with two two three. Copy 
two two three. You can actually put the address at three one five Sibley Street. Happy one forty two. Two ten, we're out to the LEC with Delphine. Copy, 143. Triple T will be going to LEC as well. Copy, 144. One two two. Some good shots fired. Found the casings at the PLC recovery off of Pascal. Looks like uh, they broke the main gate down. Happy. Good shots fired. Casings recovered in front of PLC recovery or towing. One One forty four. Well, I love it. Is that plane company? Is that a 24 7 hour? 24 7 company here? This one. Should be. This is four. I just make sure staff's okay, because I know it's a 20 area, so it might be dispute or something. 267. On to take four. Any other squads for two o'clock, you One, two, two, going to four. And squads for oh, 200 EOT, okay, squad one, six, five. One, six, five. One, six, eight. One, seven, one, tango. One seven one two. One seven five. 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 One eight five tango. Yeah, one six five. Sorry, one six five. Here, EOT. Is there any other squads for O two hundred EOT? I'm gonna one four six.
Not actually a crime going on there. No, definitely not. You can actually disregard. 701 picked it up and looks like she's on scene. Copy that. Okay, 147. 77 Abram, I'm on scene. Yeah. 122. 122. Well. Just the information for squads at this point. Talking to the tow truck company here. The vehicle taken out of the lot was just towed from 995 Jefferson Common Circle. It is Minnesota November Delta Uniform 061. Copy, there's a vehicle taken out of the lot from 995 Jefferson Common Circle, Minnesota November Delta Uniform 061. So there's what car was towed and probably the owner came up and stole it out of the lot. Stole it out of the lot. Zero one hundred hours. And then now it was stolen out of the lot or taken out of the lot. I copy. Copy that. Copy that. Copy that. Must have just oh, got out right, We done. made it in the nick of time, didn't we? We did. 7 one a for a come back clear on a 2018 black Chevy Spark hatchback registers to a Astro Light out of Plymouth. You're welcome now, 149. 116. Is there a squad that can break or start for a man down? 1403 Thomas Avenue. Probably the guy that got shot. And the bullet, so Brett Hamlin. <laughs> One thirteen, go. Okay, thank you. For you, people probably realize. I mean, you know, we work all day in addition to. It's well, two or three. Come on, four, yeah. Four, three. I'm on the scene. There's no people in vehicles here. Business is closed. Well, More to be canceled. Box camera for VOC. The three males threatening caller and another staff member. Fifty-five was out there earlier. They are claiming they were stating that's not the case. Copy from the scene. Okay. It's a holiday one. Forty-four twenty-five. Should get some M and H gift cards. Forty-four twenty-five. Can you let me know what this one is for? This is a guy coming, I think. Yeah. Phone number is going to be six five one four nine four seven eight seven seven. Couple minutes. Here. Copy, thank you. You're welcome at 151. God, I had these. I was looking for them earlier. Copy, thank you. Was you afraid to come here or what? I can't even see them. New message. Well. Three to one. Oh, there he is. Hey, we got a couple gift cards for you, sir. We got a couple gift cards for you. Gift cards. McDonald's. No, I shouldn't have turned the lights on, but the other car was going to hit us. Say, sir. Got a couple $10 McDonald's gift cards.
and a ten dollar holiday gift card if you'd like them. Oh, I was sure. There you go. Thank you. Thank You're you very welcome. welcome. God Thank bless. You. Hey, take care. Happy. rounding up the criminals earlier and said we better stay in tonight. We don't like backseaters arguing, so I will settle that discussion. I am indeed a deputy. I am not a sergeant. I'm not a lieutenant. I'm a deputy. And I'm delighted to be a deputy. Bob and I have known each other for. Just a G Almost 45 years. We work the streets in a similar fashion in our day, getting to know people and building personal relationships across town. We were both St. Paul officers for a number of years. Retired in 2010, and Bob got me to come back in uh, 2020. I've been a big add-on, big value added to the sheriff's office. Thank you. Just for a DK driver at Nature's 2220 White Bear, there's multiple people that are intoxicated about to leave out the parking lot. I have no vehicle descriptions. got to get a map. We need a map of the streets that aren't bad. <laughs> That's what we need. Oh. I think we gotta stop up here by the tobacco store. 4490, you can catch us on the one hour place, sir. 7-1, I'll show you there. Copy, thank you. You got somebody in mind up there? Yeah. 
Okay. The leather one? I don't know who it's going to. To uh, Nicole at midnight. She's over there recovering a stolen. Oh, she is. Okay. I thought you were going to give it to the tobacco owner. <laughs> That thing slide off. Well, that would be ugly. Wait, where's my sighting? Show me out. I told her I'm not impressed with unoccupied. Well, look at her. Look at her situation. Well, <laughs> we're gonna give Nicole her keychain. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, Come on over. What do we got? Oh, I'm actually catching you one too. I got one for you, clear, Pat. Oh, oh, oh. I got my first one. one. What is it? A stop stick pin. Your pin. All one. right, all right. All right. I got four. Oh, Is there fuel? Where did they come from? Um, some woman from West St. Paul. You can you see both squad that six two stolen or uh, Let me see what a, a pin looks like. Here's well, one two nine. <laughs> here's the pin. See, here's my favorite. I should I should just keep this in my pocket. Here. Awesome. Happy negative results. I can't wait. I'll make sure. They well, give him that one. I got extra ones. He only has 15. Hey, hey give, we're, we're, let's give him each one of those a special saying. Oh. All right, let's, let's give him a special saying. 412 messages. <laughs> what? He's got 412 unread messages. Yeah, not a 412,000. Where are you looking? <laughs> the top right corner. Your text message. Yeah, text. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should see the email. I've got 100,000 of those. Hey, all right, so what would be your favorite? Clear right, we gotta get that one. Clear right, clear right, we got a lot of clear rights. Who's got a Durango? Nobody. Oh, that's a, it's a Durango. It's a Durango. Those are nice, it's a Durango. Happy I'm gonna do this alarm. 25, 20, come on, but you haul it's gonna be able to in the showroom class break. I mean, listen, Pat and I aren't gonna be around forever, oh, you know? That's not what I heard. So, but here's the thing. I think you each should take one of these to remember us by. <laughs> well, I'm gonna clear one. There you go. Assuming it's an oh alarm as well. Got me. Just, she did some nice laser work. Nice laser work. Yeah, that would be Marina. Marina? Well, thank you, Marina. Yeah, we got some be kind ones. Yeah. Well, we got a whole collection of Nicole at night. You got one already, huh? I got one. And folks, Sergeant Suki gave me my stop stick pin. No, oh, that's actually for Nicole. That's for him. Oh, it is? Yep. Yeah, Suki's got a million at home, so he's going to pass me off one of his. Hey, I got another one of these. Give this sure. to him. That's the second one. It's a little, wait a minute. It's a little thicker. Unless you want to give that to Nicole to carry for you. You did a nice job on these things. Oh, Very nice job. I like that. Will you just stop? You'll see that? It's that simple. It really is that simple. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 113. 113. Absolutely. So that, that guy. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, 25 away. Yep. Street, 
Right. Okay. We we won't okay. mention his name. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. No. No, I, I yeah, well he was gonna run on us. Yeah. It was he had her in reverse. Well, he's, he's, had a, he's got a history of it. He, he, yeah. They had it in reverse. Reverse he went forward and then he said, No, this ain't working. He put it in reverse and then Chad was there. Oh, and then he was gonna he did reach for his door handle. I don't know if you saw that, Nick, when yep. you were pulling up and then he just went Oh crap. They're pretty good, so yeah, last time it was at McDonald's right here at university he ran. He called Nicole a good driver. Well, that's true. It is. Thanks, Dad. He didn't lie. <laughs> Kyle, can you give me that? Uh, Metro 2430 cars and 4470 cars. Information only in regards to a vehicle that stalled westbound 36 at Hadley. We'll have a tow and route by 12 o'clock tomorrow. Again, information only at 203. Well, what do we got? He didn't beat three. Baker 3. Baker 3, copy next. Who's yelling over there? Oh, well, why are you clicking the radio? Might do it again. Pat's in a panic. Can we just order those pins? <laughs> Did he drop it or he lost it already? I'm not sure if it's the front or the back, but anyhow. I dropped the little back thing. Darn it. <laughs> I can't give you anything. I just, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll get you another one. Thank you. Good. Just throw it on my Good desk, car, please. Here. Well, the back thing you can get anywhere. Yeah. Well, I think I didn't, I didn't hear the rest of the conversation, but there was a good description of the driver from... The original yes, cars, the right? And then somebody and else saw the driver. Well, Kyle was asking about identifying the driver. It was all good, right? <laughs> it, all the, the probable cause existed to put the pieces together. In his back to the truck. Yeah. 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 And Bodie positively identified oh, him. Oh, Bodie positive. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Well, I'm going to the front door broken here, but I don't think it went all the way through. I am, I am convinced he was going to pull over and... and take those people out of the car that you stopped broken front door, and take their car. Nope. But he hit my car. I've been so good. Didn't do that much damage. It looks fine. It's just... That's what they say until they go to the shop, and then they, they tell me it's... It's still driving straight up. It's just a tool. One ten. do you want to have a kid in slow this way? We gotta get Tony Body uh, unmarked though. Well, I'm or like yours. Here. The front door is messed up with some glass here, but Can't we just paint the door in black here, yeah. or something? Well, we can do whatever put, a, say. put a wrap on it anyway. Is yours a wrap or a paint? Is yours a wrap? Yeah, yeah, it's it's yours a wrap? Right. Let's just get his wrap like dark like yours. It's just the white stuff that makes it pop out too much. Well, oh, we got another hour. Yeah, I, another. I, it's it's a switching hour now, so. I know. Four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. All right, we're after the one. I'll be pulling the vehicle over. Uh, Minnesota. All right. Delta yeah, X-ray, Romeo one seven six, Highway thirty-six, and White Bear. Well, okay. go west, young man. Indeed. Two and three, caller stating he's out the door. Okay, two and three. How you doing? All right, guys. Well, well, 
thought it'd be a little busier, but I guess there was a few other things going on while we were chasing that other one. <laughs> there was a lot going on while we were chasing that other one. Um, might be looking like a CDP here since this door uh, didn't give in, so yeah, you usually come here, but uh, I don't see any cameras in the front either. Maybe key holder information. Not yet, but I will give uh, you all security. I'll call and have them respond out there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I guess the trooper chopper is yeah, up and looking for those suspects in St. Joe. Okay. It might be 11 hours and 30 minutes. Everyone was glued to their TVs to watch their Murdoch, was it Murdoch? Murdoch trial? Got found guilty. Yeah, I didn't really watch much. But I just enjoy the legal okay. analysis. Check south side. Smart legal Everyone check south side. Holder name and phone number in your call. The alarm company is also going to try to call them and get someone out there. Yeah. Welcome to Denton. Well, Dennis Route Jr. Thanks for being a backseater. I'm sorry for the uh, for the loss of your grandfather. Prayers are with you all. 311. 311. For hit and run 1151 Beach. Happy and Ralph. That's going to be this. 211. Car that ran a Minnehaha Johnson Parkway right, right down the right block. There. Just some of those. Auto thieves live right in that block. Mm-hmm. 110 cell sites can be secured. Can't be cell sites secured. Is there a squad that can respond to another alarm at U-Haul 883 University Avenue West? It's going to be audible covering the showroom motion and front door glass break. We can do that. Yeah, they, uh... Um, can break here. They're out on Copy Como the with, alarm with, company does have with a trooper through U-Haul. That was another one. Yep. Copy and old. The alarm company does have visual saying there's uh, of a glass break, but they can't see any suspects. Cookie, that's right by you. Cookie, that's right by you. 
Well, we're going to the U-Haul Radiant Victoria. It's supposed to be an alarm. <laughs> they're out on another U-Haul. Can you copy that alarm? Mark is out there. You can see it on the left right here. The theory breed. Maybe they hit one and now they're going for another one. Okay, you can copy that alarm. He checked out there. Clear right. That's it. We got a broken window. Yeah, let's go ahead. Here it is. Yep. Twenty-seven fifty-five broken window, window, broken front window in front at the U-Haul. Heavy broken window on the front. It's Mark, you gonna get out? Keep yep. going. I'm gonna back up. So we do got a broken window here. Which means they probably went in to get the keys for some trucks. So I'm gonna, I'll go to the back. So we got an alarm here, the front window's obviously smashed. We like to secure the four corners of the complex. As you can tell though, in the back here, there's really no way for them to leave. Or if they would leave, there's only one door very secured in the, along the alley side. That door there, blocked. So there is very little option to get out this way. There's a fence area here on the east end of the building, but I don't see any doors there either, so they're pretty much restricted to getting in and out the front. Usually what they do is they break, grab, try to grab some keys that have been returned and then take a truck out of the lot. So possible they did that. I, I'm a little suspicious that 
maybe this happened before the other call. Guy looks a little bit suspicious, didn't he? Next door at the car care center. 8470 clear transfer. There's really no way out the back. There's no doors out to the alley or... Well, it be interesting to find out if there's a U-Haul missing tomorrow. Yeah. Are they going to get a canine or are they just going to search it? I don't, I don't know. You going in yourself or are you sending a canine in? I think we have one of our brand new dogs in route, so. Okay, all right. Good. Yeah. There's no real way to get out in the back. You probably know that anyhow, but yep. we checked all the, I just, just, it's all locked in tight and back there, so. Awesome. See so yeah, you guys. See you later. Take, you got it, thank you. Thank you. Colorado, Adams, Union, Union 79. Boom. <laughs> it's a chilly out there when you're out in it for a few minutes. What do you think? Oh, the stop exiting the Marion, a Colorado plate, safe control. Yeah, I just. Uh, there's a car in the corner when I came in. Oops. I before the call came out. I don't know if it was related. Did they find somebody on the Como one? The no, Co I don't think so, no. On the Como, you hook? All right, let's go get that. Get the one on Marion. What? Who was broadcasting that? Safe control. Call for my customer. She didn't, she, didn't, she didn't say anymore. She just said she's slow to stop and marry it. And she said, no, I'm stopped. 10 you said you're stopped. Yeah, they Stopped. Stopped at the top of the ramp. I got a second. 220. Somehow we got our live being repeated in here. Oh. Could be that. Because I'm plugged in. <laughs> it's, coming over. it's coming over the radio. Well, I can just turn this one down. All right. Well, let's go check, make sure she's good. State trooper stopped the car, slow to stop. Got you want to copy the video for you to Magnolia Avenue at? Uh, were there other, uh, was that the key drop there inside the door? Could you see any keys laying around or not? You know, I didn't even notice. Clear left side of the road as you turn south. How's the look? Clear. Yeah, I guess I'm going to say. Mail to me. Hey. 221. Tell us if you've been watching. Has anybody been watching the full 11 and a half hours? That's what we want to know. Who who has been watching for the 11 and a half hours? Who's a marathon woman or man? Quite a few. Yeah. Really? Joan, Timothy, Clay, no way. Lee, Kathy. Really? That's impressive. Angela. Michael. 
Sarah. Very impressive. Good morning. 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 Happy. There's just one able to start towards Hawthorne, the east of Westminster. Three, two, three. Happy. Six, one, six, we'll be clearing the building. Starting to get a little busier. Have to clear the building at two, twenty three. Fifty one eighty four. Fifty one eighty four. One Lar Pater of No West Department 16 assist medics with a 55 year old male on the is um, Since the alarms have gotten better and better, you don't see the creative. Well, creative is the wrong word. Maybe crazy. Burglars that would sneak in on vents, you know, through the roofs. Even some burglars came down chimneys. Yep. And, uh, and one even got stuck. He did. That was great. That was awesome. Got stuck in the chimney. Remember the guy who went through the vent at uh, Church's Chicken? At University in Grotto? Is that earlier? No. Uh, Straight into the deep fryer? No. I, well, now that you mention it, I do remember. Yes. Looks like yes. right over here. Alright. Much traffic there? Not seeing any. Sobriety test here. Make sure that everything's good. We are going to drive by on the way. Obviously, we didn't want to get back on the freeway and we're the wrong way. I would say that individual is under the influence. Some people just, you can just tell. <laughs> the glassy eyes. The glassy eyes are a dead giveaway. Glassy eyes. Sherlock Holmes exhibit at the Minnesota History Center. tomorrow I think yeah oh, try my track to make it sleep in very very late day <sighs> Brian it's your fault I just yawned I want you to know that Did you read that? 
know you'll be interested in that. Because you know those guys. Just read that to the viewers. That's the one that's where the car was taken. They shot open the lock. Holy smokes. At PLC Recovery, somebody shot the lock off the door or gate and took a Chevy Silverado that had been uh, towed to there. Which is an auto theft. Which was right in the area, of course, and him and where the shots fired were. Yeah. Nope. I know the train's not running, but it just, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird. <laughs> it feels right. <laughs> Someday we are going to take you on a tour of the St. Paul Police Museum. We got a few artifacts at the sheriff's office. I'd like to get that point. That are going to be interesting. Just because they were both staring at us like, what the Mike, uh oh. Like, uh oh. We're in trouble now. Previews for it. I want to get, to get to see that. Is that Ryan Reynolds? You know I'm terrible with actress, actresses, but yes, I think it is Ryan Reynolds. Is Ryan Reynolds? No, it's not Ryan Reynolds. No. Ryan Reynolds is the Boost Mobile guy, isn't he? Mint, Mint Mobile? Mint Mobile? No, it's not Ryan Reynolds. It's, uh, I forget what the guy's name is. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd, yeah. It's supposed to be one of the up and comers. People, that, women say they like his looks. No, I'm good. I'm done. Okay. There's one parked over in here, Virginia here that has a little suspicion to it. Watch that building clear. How's it going? You window doesn't work? You the window doesn't roll down. You guys need a couple gift cards? Oh. A gift card? Gift cards. Thank you 184. Yeah. Are you Fletcher? I am. It's Fletcher. Yeah. 
Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, we watch your show. Oh, well, thank you. Like well, I, 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 looks like you guys could benefit from here's some here's some holiday gift cards. And I think the holidays close right now, but but then. Uh, Thanks. It helps a lot. I'm actually homeless right now. Yeah. Six nine eleven. Hang on, eight ninety two Concordia Avenue. Call again from the address and then. Hung up on and the then you, like you got to promise to get fries, though. <laughs> and here, if, if you follow my doctor's Dude, advice and eat healthier, here's some subways. Oh, yeah. I actually, I, I try to stick to vegetarian. Like, I don't want to. My, my, my parents well, passed early on. Well, in here's, life, here's so. another one, then. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank You're you. welcome. You have a good I, night. I was hoping I'd run into you someday before. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Nice Man. to see you. Have a good night. Have, have Take good care. Night. Yeah. You bet. Right. The 200 Club in North Minneapolis, someone shot in the chest after a fight broke out. Oh. 5182. Isn't it a small Clear. world when you really stop? And just, I mean, it's so simple. You just stop and check on people, right? Mm hmm. It's just. He was so appreciative. Yeah, it's very, so... very cool. Well, from being nervous about the police to feeling okay, you know? Yep. And I could tell he was homeless because his car was loaded, but... Life's tough out there, man. A lot of people. A lot of people. You know, they, um, I think I mentioned this once before, but YouTube does an analysis. I, they, they have amazing tools, analytical tools, but they can, they can tell us how many are new viewers, how many are returning viewers on YouTube. Uh, not so much on Facebook, but they also, uh, they can tell you when your viewers are when your subscribers are on YouTube. Like the time? Yeah. Really? Person's calling their dog out there. So, um, but I mean, Fridays from 9 to 10 is when the majority of our viewers are on from 9 to 10. That's pretty easy to predict. But the rest of the time, Sundays are the busiest days for people watching YouTube that also watch us. Really? Yeah. Kind of interesting. So, gives causes you some pause to think about doing a Sunday broadcast now and then. And I think I mentioned the, the busiest, the most. We've had several 13 and 14,000 viewers at one time, but we only had one that was 18,000. Hmm. That was on a Sunday. Wow. So, just uh, in the winter, of course. Black BMW 7 Series is a possible suspect vehicle the Minneapolis right. shooting. Where is the 200 Club? 200 Broadway, I believe. Really? Yep. Hmm. Well, where would 200 be close to? Right by 94. 94. In fact, we drove through the lot when Lisa Clement was with us. The window's not all the way down. He's down top in the middle of the ramp. My RV is behind him. He's 494 at 24th. 
well, I can at least turn it up to 70 for you. I mean, 65 is a little bit. Skin temperature is 72, right? Is it? And I have my camera here at the That's what I've always heard. Avenue around 237. Body temperature is 98.6, but the skin temperature is only 72. That's what they say. Huh. No. When I get in a swimming pool, I want the skin temperature to be 88. Yes, sir. Well, there's a lot of people standing there waiting for a train, but I haven't seen any running since one o'clock. Have you? No. So it's a very it's sad the thing. Same thing. Yep. I look like they're looking down the line for the train. But awareness. How you doing, folks? Is, is somebody yelling? Everybody Just making okay? sure everybody's okay. Oh, uh, good. Gotcha. Got an Uber coming? No, we're trying to get it. Awesome. Dennis is the police chief up in up in Hibbing or was in Virginia. Is that where you guys are you were here for oh, are you here for wrestling or what? So here for the What's wrestling that? tournaments? Yeah. How were they? How's What's it, that? How how was the tournament? Well, actually we have two kids still going on. So. Two kids? Okay. Yeah. Good. What yeah. what weight level? One time. Uh one twenty six and one seventy. Yeah, this, and this is from be waiting on some yeah. room. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. You guys, you remember at home? Happy. I, I, we're we're over at. Um, well, there's Ubers out here. Huh? There are Ubers out here. Where, I know. Where are you staying? Um, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to get a. Uh, I'm trying to get an Uber. Yeah. Uh, is it? Is it? Cause I you, am drunk. Yes. I'm, it, I'm trying to get an Uber. It's all right. You're doing the right thing. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to get. An Uber, if you guys can just take him back to this sure. hotel, we're that'd be great. We're at the inter, Intercontinental. Well, who, I can't take yeah. all of you, obviously. No, just me. No, 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 it's just we're, me. We're good. We're just it's just me. Excuse That's me. We're just gonna walk work. Is there. anything going on? Or? Just trying to get the guy home. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Intercontinental Hotel. 
Hey, where are the rest of them going? Hey, I've. Uh, we are all oh, they're they're right, right here. They're right here. We're right all good. He's the oh, only yeah, one it's just me. Yeah, of course. It's just me. They're doing. Well, that's if that's the case. Yes. Well, we got to yeah. clean the back seat out a little bit. And hey, guys, I appreciate that. Well, um, do you say you're from Hibbing? Yes, sir. Oh, then we can't give you a ride. Oh boy. <laughs> well, actually, I was uh, actually I was uh, Virginia yeah, chief of police. That. Virginia chief of police. But. You were the Virginia chief of police? Yes, sir. Oh, God, God bless you. Let Thank me hop you. out here and make you. sure there's, there's enough stuff out of the way Thank back there. Yeah. That's 035. That's 035. Yeah, I'll take care of that when I get back in. Take care of. No. Mr. Benz, we got you. Thank you, Kara. Thanks, Ryan. And look at the back. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. That's For sure. Yeah. Where are you guys staying then? The boys no, we're right around right the corner. Okay. Right around the corner. Back up a little bit for me. He's at the intercontinental. We'll get him there. We'll get him there. Let me pull this seat up before you hop in. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you, you bet. Absolutely. Thanks for doing the right thing. All right, thanks. Take care. No. Seriously, guys, thank you. Of course. <laughs> we were trying to get a Uber, but no, it wasn't working. Whatever. So how long, how long have you guys been on for? Long time. Oh, well, give me a number. So, uh, 46 what? years. What? Yep, 46 years. Why are you still here? Because <laughs> we like the job. Huh? We like the job. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we do. We like the job. How about you, sir? I worked from 75 to 2010. Okay. I retired from 2010. Till 2020. Approaching 20 and I came hours. Up, came What's back then. Seriously? Yep. Why? Yeah, we're, uh, well, the why not? I love it. Let us know the why not? Especially down here, you guys. Are... Well, we. Exiting 24th I... Avenue. Exiting 24th. Hang on a second. We got a. There's a yeah. state yeah, I state hear, patrol hear, chase yeah, on here. Hear, yeah. I hear. 24th. I, I put in almost 30 years. Yeah, good for you. Thank you. Did you work oh, in Virginia man. before you were the chief, or where'd you work? Uh, what are we going to be looking no, for? Uh, all, all Virginia. But uh, I was uh, actually a uh, drug first commander for a while and oh, stuff like that. You were a drug task force commander? Yeah, I oh, was. Good for you. Good for you. Like 26 months. Good for you. Yeah, that was a lot, that was enough, huh? What was that What's called? That what sure? was that called? The Northeast Drug Task Force, or what? Uh, it was called the Boundary Waters. Boundary Waters. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The, the coolest name of all time. <laughs> yeah. That was a good idea. But you know, our, we always did our work down here because this is where, this is where the bones were. You would be recorded. Right. But yeah. Oh, good for you. It thank, was a good career. Thanks for your service. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're that me. I, I just can't <laughs> believe that you're, you're even doing it. Well, I mean, God damn it. Uh, we like working nights. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I was so happy to get on. I, I, I would be the chief, you know. I, I, I'm like, I go to bed at 9. I yep. couldn't sleep past 1. Yeah. It's like... Just you know, just do, thinking about all the shit that the guy had. Do you do you have your key? Yeah, I got. It. And you know where you where you're yep, going. Yeah, yep, I'm good. When you're going, where you're in here. Yep. I'm good. I don't think there's anybody to mug you there, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. But anyway, thank you guys. All right, yeah. you're welcome. But it, seriously, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank, you. Really thank, nice you. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. All right, all right, you guys. Take care. Take care. Hey, have a good morning. Yeah. Hey, what, what time do you got to be at the wrestling matches? Um, I think it's like eight o'clock. Oh so. Jesus! Sleep fast. But anyway, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you need to retire soon. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I'm putting people in jail, I think I'll stay. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go to work. You gotta yeah, you go and get to bed. Thank but you. Hey, Thank hey, you. You know what? 
I, I thought the same thing, but then when it was all worked out, and I'm sure you looked at their numbers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You, you're not working. I'm working for nothing. Yes. I know. But if you like but it. you love it. If we like the job, we always yeah, say. I know, I know. But you know what? Get it out, man. Just do it. It's, All right. It's pretty good. They just put another check in my uh, account the other day. <laughs> you got to like that. First of All the right. month. See you, boys. See you hey, later. Take Thank care. you. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice fella. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he can get in. Wait to make sure he does. Maybe the other door, huh? Nope, Wait. he's got it. <laughs> oh, let's just watch to make sure he finds his way to the escalator properly. Okay. That's what you call a field trip to the city. Indeed. <laughs> city field trip. 248. 24th Street, there's a there's a stop out there by the airport. That's what that was about. Mm -hmm. Airport police got him stopped. Yeah. Salt at the Grey Duck Tavern. Okay. I wonder if they're ever going to fix this street. Is this about as fixed? Remember, it used to have those cobblestone? Mm hmm. Back when we first started. Mm hmm. Not too many streets with cobblestones anymore. Oh, All right, so one thing we got to do if you can take a look at the earlier broadcasts and see how many minutes, how many hours and minutes it was. Then we gotta take a look at this one, because someone will say we didn't do a full 12 hours. Seven hours and 33 minutes. 33 minutes. So the next one has to be four hours and 27 minutes, right? If you say so. <laughs> four and 27. What do we have? Do we know? Yeah. 414. 427. So we have another 13 minutes to go. 414? Go with that. We got another four fourteen. So we got four fifteen now. Okay, so we got another. We got to go to like five after three. <laughs> well, it's like a you know, Guinness World Book of Records. Oh. Well, what's the matter? You wanted to quit right at three? That's funny. <laughs> hey, check this out. What am I checking out? They got, uh... They got, they got uh, Melvin Carter Jr.'s book at the History Theater, right? I guess so. Yeah. Or maybe they turned it into a play. Yeah, into a play. Diesel Heart. There's a sign down here. Worked with Melvin Carter the second back in the late seventies. Mayor's dad. Enjoy. 
I enjoyed working with him. He had a fun personality. Still does. Well, let's go check out the bus stop, 5th of Minnesota. Breakfast burrito. Certain foods just sit well with me, like that bean burrito. That's, that's the second time I had it. I just, it's not too much sugar to put me to sleep. You know how that is for certain foods. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I got this. Uh breakfast burrito because I got one for the first time last week and yeah. it was surprisingly good. Hey guys, how would you like some gift cards? Some gift cards? McDonald's? Well, we're not trying to kidnap you. <laughs> There's a couple. Yep, $10 each for McDonald's. You're very welcome. Appreciate you. You guys ever get to Little Caesars? I got enough Caesars. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you so yeah. much. All right. You're, you're very welcome. welcome. You're welcome. God bless you guys. Have a good night. That means the world. Well, we're glad to hear that. Outstanding. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good one. Be Thank safe. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're appreciative, huh? Yeah. came to a grinding halt, didn't it? It certainly did, Ollie. <laughs> You're so silly, Stanley. <sighs> well, I mean, we didn't get to watch we, how the video was during that chase, but because we were all in the middle of it, but... Uh, I'm assuming the video was interesting. <laughs> I, there were some great comments in there, though, I saw afterwards. Oh, yeah? That uh, they were saying, Chad, Thomas, it's okay to swear during a chase. <laughs> funny, 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 funny. Funny. I just turned right before it. I think if we all had just taken up a position on the perimeter from the right from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, he had that one little section in North Minneapolis where he just kept going, going around and, and around and around. And Uh, Fox there at Securian. Something in the road here. Yeah, I see that, but...
That's right, Jason. We refer to it as tactical swearing. <laughs> Situational swearing. <laughs> Well, if you're just joining us, we're just at the end of a 12 hour marathon. We get actually, uh, first one was like seven and a half, and the next one was four and a half. I think, Pat, you're lying to me about how long we've been on. Just so you know, I think that's, I think we got to go till 3.15. Hang on. I'm just kidding. I'm going to tell you exactly. And, uh, but. Feel free to go back and watch some of the earlier transmissions. We and are at 11.55 right now. 11 hours and 55 minutes. Really? If you add them up or what? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. 7.32. Now, I do know this, though. I know one thing I'm going to tell you. We're gonna go by that. But, remember how the smartest man told us we had to open it up and close it off? The last five minutes of the first one was just a frozen screen. And I'm sure our backseaters enjoyed that screen. Yeah, so it should count is what you're saying? Absolutely. Hey, you want to do some traffic? All right, well. I think we can get a rolling from the booth. <laughs> oh, the booth lady's asleep. <laughs> oh, boy. You backseaters who made it from start to finish, my hat is off to you. You're, you're amazing. Getting Pat to take his hat off takes a lot because he's always cold on his head. Yes, yes, he is. something does happen in the next 15 minutes while we're in route to home, we will promise to bring you in on it. We've done that before a couple times. Yep. Too. I will be monitoring the radio all the way home. What was that, two weeks ago we ended up coming back on? Yeah. from the Popeye cartoon jumps into mind. What would that be? You don't remember? I am what I am. Well, that's a good one too, but that wasn't the right one. That's all I can stands? I can't stands no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day starting early on. I got early up, I wrote a letter. Very important letter. You guys will get a copy of it next week sometime. And then we went in and met.
yet to talk about a few important items like kids shooting each other, gangs, etc. Adopted some strategies. You had a much longer day than I had. I don't know how you do it. I got a couple gift cards here for you. Would you like a couple gift cards? McDonald's. That's a McDonald's and some Subway. There's two McDonald's gift cards for ten dollars each. God bless you. And a Subway. Head over to HMC and sit on that guy for a bit, and then uh, here, take these. I got in talks with uh, patrol and uh, we'll get these? they covered after. Just the, just the one? Okay. Have a good night. Gabby, I'm going to run in and grab a shield from Toggle. And then I'm going to head home in a little bit once the uh, LOP is done. They didn't want to be selfish. You just would take one. Yeah. Uh, that was thoughtful of them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Oh, disregard. The hospital's got covered already. They got covered for us, so we're good. All right, Pat. Good news. Do they have any idea how long it's going to be I'm going to pull up to this pump here, hours. get some gas, say some goodbyes to our back seaters. We still got one minute left, apparently. I'll tell you something. Very impressing, oh, impressive, oh, folks. Something going on. Refreshing squad check. Please clear caps. Switch seats. They're chasing somebody. Don't look for all advice. Listen in here to see what state's got going on. At 305. Well, whatever was they had. Sounds like it's over. Wait to sign off here until Bob gets back in. Oh, that was kind of you. Usually Pat fills the gas. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> hey, uh, seriously folks, thanks for being with us. For our first 12 hour marathon. Probably not our last, but uh, I think you saw some very interesting things tonight, and uh, I want to thank you for being with us. And as always, continue to be kind. Oh, and don't forget tomorrow, uh, if you want to get some Girl Scout cookies and donate to a great cause, go by the A Public House on Randolph in St. Paul. Keep being kind, folks, okay? Have a good night.